Don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> Did you have you ever chased a waterfall? <laughs> no, my yeah, I have. Yeah. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You chased a waterfall. No, you didn't. No, you hey. never chased a waterfall. Hey, You're you jump off it. That's chasing it, right? I don't think that's what T. Boz was getting. That at. is not chasing a waterfall. No, what is chasing a waterfall? Then? What is chasing? And what's a waterfall? Stop trying to do well, that water- new age bullshit, Parks. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just, I'm <laughs> you trying know to what the fuck out what chasing and waterfall means. Well, it doesn't move, so. It does move. A waterfall moves. I mean, yeah, not location. Can we also get into TLC carpool shaming? <laughs> like, why can't I be they in were my not best in, friend's ride? That's like, true. I don't understand. They were not environmentalists. Exactly. So. Do you not care about the environment? Right. And burning that's, fossil that's, fuels? It's only been addressed for the past 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> About carpool shaming? It actually got addressed four months later. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the guys were doing fine. All right, let's see. Parks is crazy. He would be the white six foot six nigga running around. Chasing, water. chasing a chasing waterfall? A <laughs> waterfall. All right. Uh. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, one, two. I just want to say, right, hold up. Actually, how do I turn this down? I just want to say to all the people out there who fucking beat shamed me in parks for saying that Nas's last album just, you know what I mean? Right. It was just a little, it was just a little, you know what I mean? It was a little Yamini. We were saying the beats were just a little slow. Yeah. Tempos just weren't right. Just yeah. just wasn't a great fit. We were saying that here. Yep. Y'all shamed us. They did. I won't be shamed again like that, by the way. We were right. I know what the fuck we was talking about. Yeah. Swiss agrees. Kanye heard this song. <laughs> He's talking to Kanye. This is how I'm feeling on a Wednesday right now. I let Swiss rock out. It's been raining for two days out here. That's how I'm feeling. (laughs) Oh, my God. It's so much poison. There's mad poison. Anytime Nas is about to rhyme with poison around. Yeah. (laughs) That nigga Nas will rap about poison. (laughs) That nigga, that poison taking to the Project 5. Hold up now. (laughs) Woo! Judy, God damn it, turn this shit off. God damn it. No way. (laughs) Judy's ass was huge. (laughs) Fam, remember Judy? (laughs) Yes, God damn it. Judy, you big ass. Everybody knew the chick with the fat ass in the projects. God damn it. You kind of can't be named Judy and not have a big ass. You just had to fight a couple niggas. <laughs> you couldn't just approach Judy. When Nas getting this project vibe, yeah. you start thinking about Queensbridge. I told y'all that nigga looked funny with them Kanye pictures in Queensbridge. He ain't want to take that shit. That nigga was thinking about Judy, man. <laughs> I'm letting it rock. Don't sue me. Do not fair usage. <laughs> Fair usage. That's just gonna hold up in court. <laughs> you yelling that? <laughs> oh Jesus! It's not Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me let my New York bias out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
That was Nas. Nas. Yeah, man. That's the Nas we want to hear. No, uh, that's that's Esco. I, yeah, I'll jump out that's the window and Nas. say that's a contender no, for, for song out. of 2018. No, yeah. no, that might no, be my favorite well, we rhyming. A dog. He was fam. That's Esco. Yeah. When your second bar is about Judy's ass <laughs> in the projects, right? Just from rapper brain, it's like oh. Uh-oh. We're going to suck uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. yeah, I know what he was at. Uh-oh. Yeah. Me when he wrote yeah. that bar. He's taking us like, somewhere yeah. now. He Nobody just started. Nobody needed to know Judy. Fam. We all know and they Judy. Knew, and they knew what we was going to talk Na- about. How old is Nas? Savon, look it up. Nas got to be 40. Yeah, 40. When you are 43, young people. See, that's what it is. Nah, when you're 40. Nah, he might be older than yeah, that. Yeah, maybe older. older. However old. When you When you 45, taking it there? Yeah. yeah like right. when you got to harken back to Judy? Harken. That's a good word. Yeah, right? He harkened. <laughs> he harkened all over that song. Uh, welcome to the Joe Button Podcast. I don't know what the fuck the episode is, man. Let me just stop fronting y'all. 94. 194. Hey, episode 194. I'm your host, Joe Button. Ill. <laughs> Got my platforms confused. <laughs> your host. Do I normally say that here? Maybe. Uh, That's trash. I, I am not your host. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Joe Button. Yo, Erickson, zoom in on his eyes. No, I was no, say, please, yeah. no. Can we do a wide? And I'm not hosting. I a never want to host again. Tight. That was the only reason I, did, I agreed to love and hip hop outside of sin, was that I would never have to host again. You mean parties? <laughs> yeah. You You're not going to get the walkthrough bag? Oh, my. At the Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> if I see Joe hosting a party at the Anthony, I'm going there just to laugh. <laughs> Yo, Joe's y'all Thursdays? don't support me in anything. No, all y'all do is laugh at me. I spend the weekend assessing my relationships. That's support. Oh, yeah. That's support. That, yeah, that's support. That was your conclusion out of everything. That's craziness. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> that's, that's like, how real friends support each other. Yeah, no, true. men need to change that. No, nah. Because at no that's point do y'all genuine. do. You, is it ever celebratory? It's always it's celebratory. behind closed doors. Yeah, it's always celebratory. Men don't. Not just publicly. I keep, I've been gonna... saying for two weeks that we got to talk about how men don't express themselves to, to other men. Y'all are my dear friends. Like I really love y'all. We express I have ourselves. zero idea what you gentlemen are going through in life. <laughs> <laughs> like mean? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you, see? What, that's what that you new age shit. Through, what do you mean? What do I mean? You know what that means? I have no idea what you guys are going through at all. Have you ever asked? That's mm. good. that's a good point. Mm. See, I'm gonna use you one gotta of reflect. Your, I'm gonna use, you gotta one, of, I'm gonna on use one of your now. words. Sometimes you gotta put the onus on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and no. don't be so sequacious. No, sequacious. And your accountability. Maul definitely got locked up this weekend. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I did he was not. definitely with the smart guy in jail. <laughs> no, I did not. Don't man. come in here. You got topics. I, I never went to the beginning <laughs> of my word. life. Fuck that. Um look a little skinnier. I don't want to be the guy to just Run up to all the people that I love saying, hey, what are you going through? Even though I kind of do that sometimes. That's why I send me wilding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I always say. <laughs> You're too intimate. I always put it out there that if people are going through something, they, if one of my friends is going through something, don't feel ashamed to hit me. But I don't, you know, sometimes you don't want to ask people. Sometimes people kind of. Yeah. But I'm, I always let it be known. Yo, if you want to call me and talk, I'm here. Yo, can I just tell y'all, I'm in a real silly mood. <laughs> That's good. I was on your little Insta Live, Insta Snap, right? Mm-hmm. And you don't be doing shit. You still be doing the myst- I'm, I'm mysterious. Ooh, you don't. I don't know, be doing shit. You don't know what I'm thinking of doing. <laughs> I don't be doing. You it. do it's that still, right? This is aesthetic, which is great, right? But this was the first time I ever really paid attention. Moi has a really nice like entertainment system. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this nigga T. I don't nice ain't, ain't this not a wire in sight. <laughs> it's like lights. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like some statuesque candles. No, I you don't. Know, Joe it's a vibe. Candles, nah, right? it's a vibe. It's, it's a, why are you touching me? It's, it's a vibe. Because you said the vibe. It's not a vibe. It's man. not? He's uh, fucking with nah, your vibe, Nah, it bro. is a vibe. It's not a vibe. So then it's I was like, yo. different color lights? Or he all did. No, no. It was like some ill. It was ill. It's flush. He could, he flush light. It set the mood. He did research on what neon blue does. Yeah. That's not what I'm researching at So why is that? Why do you have like. Aquarius make it green. Yeah. He might have had a fish tank under there. Mo, who are you? A fish tank? You got a fish tank? Fuck no. Okay. No. Wait, why you say what's wrong with the fish tank? That takes way too much life. But what I thought yeah. to myself was, yo, what the fuck is Maul going through in his life? I just was That's I just like, listening to music. Watch it. I was watching music videos. I I didn't realize how many videos I haven't seen. So I was just trying to like just go through and just see shit that I had. And I started with the um the Bryson and uh 
her video. Did you watch the J Rock videos? He put out a lot yeah. of good videos this year. I watched. I seen the video with him and Kendrick. That was dope. Yeah. I liked how they went to like areas in Cali where they used to like freestyle, make freestyle videos, and now that they're successful, they. I like that whole connection. You that see shit the shit dope. with the uh, video games, with the video game mm-hmm. beat. That shit was hard. Yeah, I like that. One. I watched. I watched a lot of videos. I spent about four hours on YouTube. I want to get into her. This podcast. It's the. It's now. It's time. She released a new project. Great video. And boy, she's awesome. Yeah, she's amazing. But. She's Gabby's how old? 20, maybe? 22, I think, maybe. All right. Yeah, we got to talk about 22-year-olds and the seasoned dick that has modeled them into the person that they are today. At this young age? She's 21. Yeah. Why is why is Gabby singing like that? Have y'all heard that project? I did. Yeah, I did. I know you, you heard it, Rory. You Mo, I know you heard it, too. Come on. If you listen to records, Volume yeah. 1... Yeah. Fam, why is her music so fucking well? Well, well that was here. part of that was part of the reason why she didn't want her, her image oh. her image to be <laughs> known. Her, she, 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 she quieted him face. down, but him that's why she hit her face because her content she felt like was too older than too much older than she was, too much more seasoned than she was. I oh, know yeah? she texted you that. No, but that was I mean people in the industry that worked with her. They said that was part of the reason why she wanted to kind of rebrand herself and. Because she came out at such a young age when she was introduced to us, and now she comes back with this content that's so much, so mature. So it's kind of like it's like real mature. Yeah. Shout out to the niggas out there hurting women. <laughs> yeah, because on, on well, only because of the content that we get. Okay. Yeah, like Mary J was the queen of that when she was hurt. For sure, her content was amazing. For sure, and that sucks. Joe too, when Joe was hurt, his content that's was true. amazing. That's why he trashes a rapper now. I don't want to hear no. <laughs> I'm Joe not rapping now. now. That's why I wouldn't want to hear because you're happy now. Yeah, I wouldn't want to hear no nah. Joe raps. Yes, now. you would. I heard you when you was in your happy bag a few times. Like, <laughs> the hooks was kind of trash. I was like, right. the Wait, cage, no. you try to play with your flow too much. Yeah, like, yeah no, 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 no. I hated that. This nigga yeah. too happy, That was man. trash. Like, yeah, I ain't like that. Time, that oh, yeah. my like, God. What was up with me? I hated yeah. that shit. Me like, too. Yeah. I hate myself. I hate when people are like happy. Some artists are better when they're hurt. And that's... That's terrible. Wait, a lot of artists. But wait, time out. Today, you don't think Happy Joe music would sound different than that? It would depend on what kind of sunglasses you wear to the studio. On Rage, on too. Rage Against the Mark. Machine, you had a record because I know where you were at that time. You were you were you were in a happy place. I'm talking about today. Mom. Today, you're way you're way happier than you were on Rage Against the Machine. I'm dying inside. No, you're not. <laughs> How would you know? We don't yeah. express ourselves. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> no, don't ask me shit. We never ask. No, I think you'd get in your, your preachy bag. Be a lot of idols. Yeah, yeah, be a lot of idols. Oh, yeah. A lot of talking about, yo, the last 20 years of the industry. Like the that, monetization that of the discrimination <laughs> of the generations Maul. has set forth Maul. in the past. Wait a minute. Man, nobody want to hear that Maul. back to Africa no, shit. No. <laughs> Turn that shit off, man. No, Wally, You know you're going to get into your monetization bag for That's sure. Fair. Your next bars. ISIS yeah. was an African goddess. Look how they got us. Uh, uh, God damn, look how they got us. Right. Yo. He smoked that shit. <laughs> But, but he had to remind us he was still woke on those last like eight yeah. bars. Yeah, we want that though. I don't want woke bars. I don't. Nas is never sleep. I don't want woke bars. Nah, ever. From Nas, he can sprinkle them in there. He's never sleep oh, though. He's he always wasn't woke. there. How did he know what the damn goddess was going? On? <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where is he getting this from? I, books, books. Yeah. Sorry, book. tell, tell me that if we believe in books. And all Nas got is tell a me fan. we believe. Nas in books. just got a family member that did about twenty years. <laughs> Oh yeah, that yeah, he yeah. speak to well, all the time. Sit in the this. studio and be like, "Yo, yo, yeah, say that shit you told me yeah, earlier. Yeah. What's right, the knowledge? What's today's mathematics? <laughs> what's, what's Nas always get the mathematics from somebody back in Queens. That's, from, that's the era, <laughs> of course. I'm not mad at it. It's giving us great bars. A nigga tried to get me into the mathematics one time. I'm like, nah, I can't remember none of that. A nigga got me into the mathematics. <laughs> a nigga got me into the mathematics one time and then told me to go buy some weed and it was a, it was a DT over there. I said, Oh, this nigga try. He try to rock me to sleep. <laughs> Don't give me the math, anybody. Yo, do me a favor. Don't get this dub. <laughs> Go get this dub, nigga. It's a cop over there. <laughs> like, I'm not going over there. <laughs> nigga gave me the math it. and tried to get me locked up. The fuck? That's I sick. do like I'll the math. Forget that shit. That's Yo, sick. I didn't subscribe to a lot of shit just off my bad memory. <laughs> You just walk away from some shit just knowing that, eh, I don't know what's going on. I, I went to Scientology little class to see what oh, was please, going on in the little schools. Please tell me how that went. I don't know if I can. He tried to get me killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go across the street. Go get some no. weed. I went Same up thing. in there with Jose to see what was happening. Oh, listen, I read all the hangings. I read everything that was posted on the wall. Some of that shit I agree with. Mm. Some of it I don't. 
Okay. I think that's what everything though. You'll that's find true. something that you believe in. Well, listen. I mean, a, a lot of religion be so generic in certain places. It's but, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, well, I, of course I agree with that. But wait, yeah. time out. Let me slow walk the dog here. So before you came in, let me just 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 how sick my brain is. Before you came in, and we ain't talking about nothing podcast people. If you're listening, do I announced the episode? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Before you came in, somehow Parks and Rory got me trapped in one of those white boy conversations. Mm -hmm. And they started like reminiscing about when they wanted to be in a biker gang. (laughs) (laughs) Not exactly. But but no, all right, let's see where you go with this. And y'all wanted to be Hell's Angels? Yeah. I mean, now, that, now you mention it. I mean, no. They wanted to be a story as angels. <laughs> story as angels, too. That's a strip club. So. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Word. give Park for them little bum ass cabaret hat. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to be a Steinway angel? Oh, oh, oh Parksy. <laughs> Parksy. <laughs> so, anyway, so they started talking about that, and in my head, like, I was listening because I always was, like, afraid of niggas like that. Like, niggas who ride bikes. Mm-hmm. It's like, Wow, your psychology is just <laughs> amazing. So they was reminiscing, and then as they was reminiscing, I was like, wait a goddamn minute. This nigga Rory wanted to be in a biker gang. He's already in a party gang. He was in a college gang. Mm-hmm. This nigga, he was going <laughs> to be affiliated. He was going to be in a gang. At one time in high school, wanted to be in a gang gang. For sure. This nigga was going to find a gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's all I had. Okay. I mean, that biker gang shit to me is, I mean, I kind of understand it now because I got, I, I got didn't mean friends that are in like, the, like bike. It's not really gangs though. Now it's just bike clubs. I just said I motorcycle yeah, at one yeah, point. Yeah, Parks and I didn't actually say any of that. Yeah. But, I just um, wanted a motorcycle at one point. I'm glad yeah, no, I didn't it's, it's go It's like down clubs now. It's not really biker gangs. Yeah, it's just, it's My just. My brother's like, in one. I've been waiting for him to fucking bump his head for fucking 25 years. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? Because <laughs> me and my mom are against him riding a bike, a motorcycle. So First want, of all, he ain't even going nowhere. Well, that's I the best they, time to have a bike, I think. No, first of all, I do not advise anybody to ever go anywhere without a destination. Nothing but bad things. <laughs> no, no, nothing but bad things. Yeah, you're going to end up in the wrong place. Yeah, for sure. that's a good point. See, yeah. niggas, bike niggas just judge uh, where they go on where how the sun is, mm-hmm. <laughs> or if it's a good. They place don't to have ride. to have nowhere to go. Oh, the sun is out. Bike time, <laughs> niggas. <laughs> all they do is go right there to that big ass parking lot on River Road. I'm. <laughs> I'm scared of people in cars while I'm in a car. Yeah, oh, yeah I don't fuck with motorcycles at all. Yeah, it was a bad, it was a bad decision. I'm yeah. glad I never did it. Two of my friends died on motorcycles. Oh, right? we got there because they were talking about Jay Williams. Yeah, sad, sad story. They said he shouldn't have been on a motorcycle. Well, yeah, I was saying, not. judging by his just the tone of his voice, I could tell you shouldn't just been on a, mo- a motorcycle. I want to add, I want to ask y'all how y'all weekend was, but we 17 minutes in. How was y'all weekend? I will ask you anyway. Fuck it, this our shit. It was cool. It was cool. Lay back, chill. I ain't really do too much. Hung out in Long Beach for the first time. I'd never actually like been on that side of L- the L.A. area. Oh yeah, that wait, was cool. you was a trader. I was. Yeah, we can address this. We will address this. Yeah, man. Uh, I stayed home to Google the origin of daylight savings. Mm-hmm. What'd you come up with? <laughs> Guess. <laughs> I, I couldn't. Probably some white people Sure shit. you could You could yeah. You're getting yeah. there <laughs> you're, you're, you're getting When did there. it start? Well, you're you're was, this, was this after you heard The ISIS bar from Nas? Uh, no oh, no. How, Nas did, woke, how woke, did I get Nas How did job. I get On the day You turned savings. your clock back And said why did I do that? I was watching Joe Rogan I was watching Joe Rogan's His podcast net, Netflix gets me pretty special well sometimes. And I was amazed that You know he went out there And said I'm gonna say a bunch of shit That's gonna get me in trouble And then he went and said A bunch of shit That should get him in trouble And I was amazed That a white dude Just could say some of the shit That you could say And walk the line Like that's amazing to me It's not a knock I think it's a great ability Well Joe Rogan can fight So That's another thing (laughs) Joe Budden can fight I don't know if he can fight As good as Joe Rogan though Well me neither But you never know I just said this last week You never know how good You can fight until your next fight Hmm We've seen Joe Rogan fight, though. We've seen Joe Budden fight. Mm, yeah. Have we? I've never we seen We have. Him. No, I've never seen There's him. There's a few wees out there, though. Okay. <laughs> and, and why do you have me fighting Joe? I like Joe Rogan. <laughs> what, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking I'm about? I'm not saying you fight fighting Joe. Them. I'm not saying you fighting him. I'm saying You that, got the hammer on you again? No, no, no. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, not oh, saying you, I'm not saying you fighting him. I'm saying that he can say shit because he can fight. And if somebody feels the type of way and want to run up on him, 
for some shit he said. Oh, that's where you was going with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not saying you're going to oh, I didn't know. I wouldn't no, know no, that at all. No, no, See no. why you got to listen no, to people? I, I just think, <laughs> no, no. No, I definitely, I think I definitely Joe Rogan is just good at articulating himself. So he can cross that line. I don't want to fight nobody back. at 38 years old. Let me be clear. And definitely don't want to start with Joe Rogan. I don't want to start with anybody, though. Okay. Yeah. But wait. Come See, you that friend, man. Hey, Joe Rogan is a professional fighter, bro. Word. You don't want to fight a professional fighter. That's true. I don't. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, That's man. I'm, as a nigga that fuck with you, where does Joe tell you? Rogan find the time to professionally fight? Not anymore. He doesn't. All right, then. You think I don't think I could take a nigga that's in the garage to hit him with a uh, uh, nah. <laughs> No, go on YouTube right now. I'm sure he posted something yesterday of him wait. whooping somebody's ass. <laughs> no, that that ain't going. <laughs> you can't wait. All right, I'm off of Joe Rogan because I'm, right I'm waiting on the timeout. I'm off of Joe Rogan. I'm, I've, I've now entered a general conversation because I'm afraid of him, but. <laughs> Them sound effects is no. A nigga in his garage doing some hard yukins? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. are you? Because you're no. not nowhere doing right, no hard yukins. Yeah. Well, nah, I good. gotta respect the nigga practicing yeah, his hard yukins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like, he gonna get it off for somebody. Work. It's gonna work. Yeah, he, yeah <laughs> you you're know. mad pork in the morning. <laughs> Wait, you know how trash I am. <laughs> I shouldn't share certain things. You shouldn't. But I wanna take this podcast to the next level. Okay, we're well, good. <laughs> this is how trash I am. When, when I was driving over here today. And you would like bust a hard left or something. I had my book bag in the front seat with the laptop unevenly balanced and shit. So anytime I made a hard turn, the bag almost fell. So mm. every time I caught it really quickly, I'd say, I still got it. <laughs> yeah. That's what you gauging it all the time? <laughs> Catching the laptop? Yeah. Okay. Reaction time is big in fights. Yes. All right. Yes, I mean, your reflexes is. is how you determine it when you're in the kitchen alone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you don't do that? No. No, no, I don't gauge. Well, uh, I'll fuck them all up. I, I don't you're not at home. You're not home practicing. No. Dude. Oh man, what's up? <laughs> the jump shots. The <laughs> jump shots, <laughs> nigga. I'm oh, not you got home it on you, nigga. I ain't got shit on me. Nigga. You got it if you ain't no, practicing at home. I ain't practicing. Um, daylight savings times parks. Uh, capitalism. <laughs> Sounds about right. Ah. Uh. So I wasn't. So Wait. So what is the real time? Is it supposed to be what it is now, or is it supposed to be what it is in the summer? Because I prefer the summer one. Because it's. Bright outside longer. Yeah. You would think they would try to keep it out light as possible. Longer. For, yeah, for capitalism. Yeah. So I don't know, Joe. <laughs> I was blown away. I was so blown away, even though I wasn't shocked, that I just started Googling the origin of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all capitalism. It's all capitalism. You got to the bottom of capitalism. And why do we believe whatever Google sends us cell phone? Oh, no, because then Joe Rogan said uh, that, you know, he was in the middle of a routine. He said humans are only here because... The, the monkeys back in the day were doing a bunch of mushrooms and <laughs> now we're here. He so then right. I was like, hmm, I think he's on something. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, eat a lot of plants. Guess what I did? Google. Got some mushrooms? We we took mushrooms I and Googled, then we made the robots. I Googled the origin of humans. Oh. And what did Google tell and you? And that's why that's where I get a little fuzzy with Nas. <laughs> 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 that's the problem with the information age. It's too much information. Way too much. Yeah. It's a lot of shit I don't want to know. So when you're when you're trying to source something, anybody can find anything. That's true. You can find any you can information the you to want. support. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Anywhere. Yeah. Anyone can always So find that's that. just where it's just like whatever. But we got that's a lot of shit true. to talk about. I mean, that's about. why I hate the YouTube conspiracy people. Like when they I come with even... this bullshit, it's just like, all right, you watch a YouTube video of someone that you didn't even know who made it or who right. the fuck exactly. they are. Right. And exactly. now that's facts to you. Yeah. Right. And whatever I say, you can just find another YouTube video to agree with what you just said, and now we're here. Right. Big facts too. Facts. So now I'll say hi to the entire Spotify community. <laughs> uh, hi to the entire YouTube community. Shout out to everybody at work. Shout out to everybody that's out of work. Somehow I do that every week and still feel like I'm forgetting people, but all is well. Now, with that said. Look where a Nas record took us. <laughs> as it should. Yeah, word. One bar just took us 15 minutes into. Okay, where do you guys want to start? I want to give Maul a round of applause and I want to alert the listeners. You know, I've been harboring resentment toward my co-hosts for a little while for their, their lack of effort in coming up with some of this shit that we got to talk about in here. Lack of effort? Sometimes you just got to let them talk. Just Maul. telling you my brain, bro. Okay. Mostly. Just got to let them talk it out. And then Maul came in with the fully automatic of, of, of just shit. I mean, sometimes I just, you know, I, got, you know I, I just have random thoughts and I just said, you know what? This weekend, I'm just going to just jot down every random thought I have. And boy. So, <laughs> I, that's what I did. So, periodically throughout this podcast, 
I'm just gonna toss them all so we can address some of the shit on Maul's list <laughs> because his list is very different from the normal shit, which is great. Great, good, awesome. We're not a normal people. Now, where would you guys like to start? What happened? Voting, 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 voting. Yes, yes. voted. I voted. I voted. I voted. Maul voted. I yes, Maul voted. <laughs> Parks I voted. Votes. Yes. Rory voted. Mm-hmm. I voted. E. Savon. Look at us. Oh shit. I do like that all of us were cool enough to not put the sticker on. There was still some uh, male ego in there. <laughs> I'm glad everyone in here just didn't yeah, rock dude, with the sticker. Who gave me that on the walkout? Like I was just trying to put the ballot in the machine and walk out. He said, "No, nah, brother, you gotta take this, man." <laughs> I said, "I, I, I he told I, you, pop, he told you the it. mathematics that, after yeah. that sticker get, made me really have a talk with myself about what I had to prove to the internet." <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't take a picture, none of that shit. I wasn't doing that because I I did get happy when I when I saw people post their sticker and post them at the, you know, I was I was I was pleased. Yeah, it's tough. but I'm gonna be honest though, like. And I was I was thinking about this on the way walking into the poll, and I was walking in there, and I literally had no idea who the fuck was running, who was doing what. I didn't know any of that. Mm-hmm. I'm just not the politics guy. I do understand what people went through in this country in order for me to vote, so I don't disrespect that. So I do vote, but I told myself when I was on that line, like I'm gonna start paying more attention to this politics because I shouldn't just vote just to say I voted. I think that's stupid. I, shit, that's you know almost what I mean? more like, I think that's stupid. Now, I support. I support because I, I think some people took a comment that I made on here about how I felt about voting and how I feel like the government is going to put whoever they want to. I, took it, anyway. I took it away, too. Yeah, like, I did. and I think that was taken out of time. I'm not saying people should not vote because, especially African Americans, a lot happened in this country in order for us to have the right to vote. So we should vote. But I think more importantly than voting, we need to start learning about politics and learning about who's running for what because just because somebody is a part of a party that you were raised to support for sure it might be somebody in another party that might want stand for something that more reflects who you are as a person and things yeah. that you want to happen in your community yeah and i was walking into that poll having no idea yeah, who was trying to do what who wanted to do what but i voted because i understand what it took and how many lives were put in place and how many lives were affected in order for me to vote. So I'm I need not, the Democrats to get control of the House. So yeah, I but I do agree with Maul that blind politics is it's not. Yeah, whatever that. Yeah, it's right, not like I didn't. Uh, feel, I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't decides. feel good about voting. I'm but you could just vote for the people that you did know what they're saying. Oh yeah, you don't yeah, have to vote I, for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I understand that. But I'm just saying, just going into the poll with, with such ignorance, like well, I didn't I'm, know. What you should never, you should never pick a side before hearing the issue more or less. Right. But let me just, just say, just because you rock with the Democrats yeah. doesn't mean that's always what you should right. lean towards. Or Republicans <laughs> for that matter. Yeah. Right. But even in your ignorance, I'm proud of you. Let, let me say that because I, I was afraid to come in here and even talk voting because of what you said last week. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, I just don't want to, I don't, I don't even feel like having that conversation B- mm-hmm. Because of everything you just said, mm-hmm. so I'm really proud of you. Even in even in you uh, admitting that you don't know all that you would like to know. Yeah, but that's the first step is going to get the information. Mm-hmm. It's true. I think all of us slept uh, in 2000 and uh, what year are we in now? 2018. Yeah. 2016. Uh, 2000 and well, no, I, I don't think people 14 slept mm-hmm. in the case of the presidency. Shh. I I think people need to focus more on the lower tiers of government and how that affects yeah. the president. Like which like, is why I mentioned like city are so, council and yeah, so district, important. You know what I mean? Like shit. Like at, no matter what, all the presidency shit is always going to be thrown in your face. No matter what, like it's always going to be on TV. You're going to know the candidates. It's only going to come down to two at the end of the day. This shit is way more important and way more not thrown at you. Mm-hmm. You don't know all these names. Right. So I don't know if people slept more or less in 2016. Obviously, look at the results. You, you could certainly make a case. But that's why I think midterm is more important in, to some degree right. to really learn about this shit right. before you walk in there. Right. I agree. Yeah. So I'm making it my business to learn more about politics. It's good. Good, good. I, I see some clips going Get around. Some disappointment, though. I see oh, some. No. <laughs> well, speaking of sure. disappointment, I see some clips going around about voter suppression in Gwinnett. Uh, yeah, I saw in a couple couple places. They're gonna try you. Oh yeah, they're gonna try you. The clips in the clips, there are no power cords. 
<laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> the entire it's, building has power. <laughs> see, this is what I'm saying. Machines. It's like it's like you know when they'll do anything, like a whole other country affected our voting system. Yeah, I don't know if the United States has that power to affect another country's voting system. Even if, if they do vote or they don't, like we can't affect another president sitting in a seat in another country. So how can how can another country affect who sits? I'm in pretty our sure seat? we have, but that's besides the point. Yeah, you think so? I get it. Absolutely. We've well, yeah, when we've invaded and blown up every fucking thing over there, right? right. And kind of took. Well, over. yeah, I mean, in that case, that's drastic measures. But <laughs> yeah, America's. I'm, 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 yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm nuts. saying. We are, like, we are literally nuts. In Florida, yeah. that, year, that year where they found our ballots on the side of a road somewhere, like a whole bunch of ballots. <laughs> It's like, come on, man. Right. Like, listen, look at this country. Like, look over. Oh, that's where they decided, like, to pick to throw the votes. Like, yeah, yeah, just dump this it. shit over that's here. Like, it's like, come on, fam. Like, what's what are we talking about right now? Which is why I'm saying, like, I do want people to vote. I don't sure. want people to think that I don't want people to well, vote. Well, I mean, I'll go with the, the most obvious thing ever of how they're doing voter suppression. It's not a national holiday, right? That's people true. that work have to make with changes. jobs yeah. that have to work OD hours. They don't have the time. Usually may not vote mm-hmm. for the for the bankers. <laughs> let me take a brief. Uh, let me interrupt briefly to say that Spotify. We'd like some clarity on that. By the way, the whole job vacation thing. <laughs> yeah, whoever <laughs> that is us, a good. That is, whoever, <laughs> yeah, for us, that's a good question. Yeah. Whoever vote, whoever is sitting in the seat that's giving us <laughs> pay time off, PTOs, that's what they call it. Yeah. PTO. Yeah. They, got, Word. they got my vote. Wait, hold on. Yo, we, who we, was we more no... locked up with? <laughs> you I came in with the PTO. Oh, who wasn't locked up? I got to be locked up to find out about PTO. PTO. Damn, Man, that lets on. you know a lot about what y'all think about my brain and my upbringing. Like, God damn. Wait, now th- in the Spotify contract, was there any HR contact? Like, hey, if y'all ever have an issue. Hit nah, up HR? No, nah, but we're doing cool, cool so that I answer the phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's really how I go. I take all record label shit and just bring it everywhere. I mean, shit. You got it's, a single, it's, you, it's you, you, you can hey, answer yeah. the phone. No, the yeah. record business is definitely a good example of life to some degree. You can take that everywhere. That's true. All right, so come on. Where do we want to start? Where do we want to start? We talk oh, about wait a minute. Shit. Give me the thing of my jig. Let's start there. Talk about what? Swiss album? Because, boy, I've, yeah, been I mean, di- was- I've been dying to talk about music. <laughs> A lot, a lot, a lot of came, out. came out. That's what I was just saying to Joe before. He's like, "What?" Jay Critch has a very good album. Who's this? Jay Critch. I'm not familiar. I didn't I'm get not a familiar chance. with Jay Critch. Yeah, tell me more. Good project. I listen to a lot of dope rap. Yeah, I, think he, I think he's Rock. from Brooklyn. I think he's from right. I mean, let me. Well, look it up. Let's find out. Oh, no. Rory, what do you think about Swiss? Uh, for the anticipation of of how long it took, I, I saw was... your tweet echo all day long. That's a fact. <laughs> I listened to it all weekend, actually. Yeah. Um, I did want more records. I, I thought for how long we were waiting for this and the shit he teased on the Just Blaze battle and I just felt like maybe there would be more here. Well, he said he's got three albums coming up. He's got an R&B one. He's got this one. He's got an R&B one. Then he's got an anthem one. Uh, maybe I just wanted the Jay and Nas record that he teased. I mean, I think we all do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jay Critch is from Brooklyn. Maybe that's where I'm getting at. Okay. Yeah. Good project. Hood favorite. Okay. Real good project. Check that one out. Roddy Rich has a really good project. Oh, the bullpen was lit. Yeah, Roddy Rich has a really good project. <laughs> oh. I like Roddy Rich. I'm, yeah. I gotta stop yeah, paying more attention to him. I'm not familiar. Yeah, you know, he got the hottest song out right now, by far, in my opinion. Oh yeah, Maul's been saying that. Yeah, for a little while. He has, he has the hottest song out. Okay, Rory, come Same on. <laughs> I was getting to that. Uh, yeah, but aside from that, I fuck with it. I love the Pusha T shit. I had to run that shit back twice just to catch. Everything that Pusha was getting at on there. Where's that guy? <laughs> on the Swiss album? Uh, anytime we talk about, yo, yo, I like the album. Yo, Roy's that guy that likes music. <laughs> like, <laughs> Roy likes music. How dare you? <laughs> How dare like, you like music? Like, Roy. oh no, I really fuck with like the Jim Jones record. Roy. Roy's that guy that Roy's fucks that with guy. all that. <laughs> yeah, he fucks with that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. Put, exactly. just put a boom bap in there. Roy will love like, it. Like, shit, we were making uh, All Love Law. Yeah, Roy is the guy that would like my music. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> spot right. on. Yeah, you're right. I, I, I mean, don't, I don't see the beef. <laughs> no, I'm enjoying your uh, analytical breakdown. I'm, I mean, I'm cracking on you, but I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. I had to run that one back a few times <laughs> just to catch all of the math. It was a, it was a good story. No, I get it. And, it, and I don't want to say it was out of Push's wheelhouse, more or less, but you know, it definitely was not the last three Pusha T projects we've got. Like it was some real, real super in depth shit. I like the producers that he picked for the album. 
Scratch did the Nas record. A-Rab I heard. I like heard. Three. I don't know if I'm allowed to say. I heard there's a Bink version of Echo. Bink did a different <laughs> record though. He did the. I know he did the Two uh, Chains yeah. one. Well, why don't two you chains. just say that if you're not allowed to say? Because <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say. Well, you said it. I fuck so. with you. I like that word. <laughs> that word. That word is hard. I would be interested to hear that a as well. A Bink version of Echo. It's a rumor. Yeah, I know he did the Two Chains record, which is great. Yeah, I um, fuck with the rumor if he didn't start it. That's a fact. I wonder if it was. I wonder if we got the original or if we got the remix. From the, how it was worded, we got the remix. Huh. To me, how it was worded to me. Damn, who's wording things to Rory? <laughs> <laughs> we got to figure well, he it a, out. He, he was out there at the little... Uh, uh, oh, Trader Con. Yeah. No, no, I didn't get... This didn't happen in LA where I got this info. No, no, but you was at Trader Con. Don't, I was at Trader Con. Don't gloss Con, over Trader that. Trader Con. He was at Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Was no, he is Joe's. a Trader to Joe's. <laughs> Trader yeah, no, but Joe. you knew that was coming. I don't really so, fuck with you like that. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> How was it? Do you want to report back to us? All right, we're jumping. Are we done with Oh, Swiss? wait, what are we talking about? I, don't, I mean, I don't really have much to say about, about the Swizz album. Did you guys fuck with the French record? I really like that one. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, it was dumb. Swizz, Swizz is a really good salesman. For sure. <laughs> like, producers have to be salesmen, and I think he's number one at selling shit. Like, when he starts screaming on records, I start like, all right, I believe you. Yeah. Or when you watch him play his own music... It's like, all right, well, this, this has to be the greatest thing ever. That's how we look at battle. I mean, his music was dope too, but that extra little sauce he put on everything made it tough to... All right, so here's a trick question for everybody. Where do you guys rank this album in Swiss's album disco? Oh, I don't know. It's too early to put that. Yeah. I, and right. what are we counting as his albums? Yeah, are the Rough yeah, Riders uh, yeah, I, compilation joints? Because Swiss pretty much produced all that shit. His albums. He got albums. No, I know he does. Yeah, he has albums. His albums. But, but his, it's a couple of others that we got to kind of No, I'm, but I'm just talking about his. Not the Rough Rider compilations that he produced all of. Okay. I'm talking about his albums. Well, this 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 might be the first one, I could be wrong, that he didn't really make every beat on. So yeah. That's, that's an interesting uh, I think it was, aspect yeah. well, it was just Scratch it. and Pink, right? Only two records he didn't do. And A-Rab did three. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I just went off what Wikipedia said. Yeah. Don't trust Wikipedia, bro. Right. They change that every six minutes. So that's, that's a lot. True. That's five or six records. Wikipedia is for the guy that would have joined the biker gang. <laughs> <laughs> Wikipedia that's is what the, the biker name. gang does. That's the name of the biker gang. <laughs> the word. We're the Wikipedia. The Wikipedia. <laughs> Some fire leathers I could get. All right, so we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. We'll go with Parks. It's, it's too early, and we'll we'll get back to it. Yeah, cool. For sure. Uh, Let's talk about it Saturday. Parks and I were vibing out to Mick Jenkins before everybody walked in. He's dope. This is the first time I ever really I've heard like maybe a song or two. I'm with you. And I knew I knew he was dope, but this is the first time I really listened to a whole project. He's really dope. He's a lot doper than I thought in my head. Yeah, I gotta go back to all the other shit now. I hate when it happens, but I love it. It's <laughs> yeah. like five albums before. You're like, damn, that's a lot of albums. Yeah, but then you start judging the niggas when you, like like when you catch an artist when they are uh when you catch some of their later music and then you try to go back to the earlier shit and you, you catch them experimenting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember when Frank Ocean put out that 109 oh, yeah. track yeah, any, any, yeah. Anytime, album? Uh, anytime you get like an artist that kind of transcends to that next level, they always try to do they print shit. Mm-hmm. Like, just be you. Why does every artist have to go like, all right, I'm going to do my Prince experimental shit now? No. <laughs> just go make Channel Orange, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but you, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at artists experimenting, but when it, when no, it's I dope. am too. But when, yeah, when it's but dope. no, I feel like when they try to experiment, they're just doing their Prince impression. I, I don't feel like they don't. It's valid. Yeah, I don't think they really experiment. I think they just go listen to the forty they million need, Prince they, albums. Every artist feel like they need that one weird project. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. like I need my one weird. Like, I need my love project. I need the jazzy shit. <laughs> yeah, I need give me, my. Yeah, give me I need some my, saxophones. Yeah, ASAP. yeah. <laughs> give me the flutes. Let me make my weird artsy shit. Yeah, I got a bass solo on here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Uh, Styles put out a great album. He did. He, he yo, did. Styles I, been working I, hard this year. I That's have a fact. Styles as easily <clears throat> top two of the hardest working men in hip hop this year. And probably fact, I think not I'm going to play one of his joints as a sleeper. He might be the hardest. He put out four projects this year. Yeah. Yeah. Four of them. And they're all good. That's a lot. That's not easy. And shit, all the juice stuff. Two juice too. bars. Right. <laughs> they a do wife. A book too. Are they doing a <laughs> that's, book? That's a key part too. <laughs> Listen, I'm saying, yeah, I'm serious. I'm not joking. <laughs> right. That nigga's been active. Interviews. He's going. He did the he did whole. A, he did the whole press press uh, press run with Dave. He uh, did a just, bunch, he of, did a bunch of shows. Podcast. He does the podcast that's, with. It's the real. Yeah. yeah. 
He's got another podcast. He did. Yeah, he did his own his, his own podcast. Yeah. He might have a deal over there with Mass Appeal. You gotta salute that man. Yeah, shout out to Styles. Man. I salute him every time for sure. Y'all yeah, know, y'all, y'all know how I feel about Styles. Yeah, man. I'm just happy happy he kept that same energy in. Yeah. And SOBs that night, man. That's all. <laughs> uh, Vince Staples, uh, my favorite project from him thus far. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I like it. It's uh, it's very computery. Yeah, which I, I get. I was I kind of it. into it. You got to be in like right. a certain zone. To put in that my shit defense, on it to I was in Long Beach when I listened to yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> sound, sound, that, a little, sound a little different over there. Yeah, that might have played a factor sure. in it. The yeah. environment is everything. Oh, when you was being a traitor. Yeah, when you put your yeah, trailer you ears on, you hear shit differently. Yeah, he had his Trader Air Maxes on. <laughs> <laughs> he had his Trader shirt on. Yeah, Trader guy. jeans. Yeah. yeah. Did y'all listen to Metro Boomin's album? I didn't get a chance. Not in here. That yet. shit is actually really dope. I saw great reviews from it though, from like yeah. people that aren't. You wouldn't expect exactly. It from, yeah. yeah, bro, it's impossible just to hear all this fucking music. It's crazy. I, was just, weekend. I was just about to say, I just heard, and this is because I had a weekend in the house. I just heard Money Bag Yo's album. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hear that. Yet. It's a good album. It's too much shit. It's too much. It's a lot too of much music. music. I listened to eight new albums this week. Well, then I like Money Bag Yo's album and a lot of, and I feel bad because I should talk to talk about this album more here because I play it all the time. Uh, Kevin Gates album. That I still hit. haven't listened. To I still it. haven't either. I've heard, and I've heard great things about that. I fuck with Kevin Gates, man. I yeah. like that dude. He's like dope. I like. I found he his music through his interviews. Like I didn't know much about his music. I would just see interviews on him. And so I said, let me go listen to his his work. And just hearing certain shit, I'm like, I right, I know I know what type of dude. Like I fuck with. Y'all that can dude. start the revolution. He's one of he's one of, he's <laughs> Yo, one of the artists that Gates might be podcast able to. would be great. He's well, one of the people that might a be able Maul to. and Kevin Gates podcast. I would, I'm listening to that. Lit. Hundred <laughs> percent. For sure. Lit. And Ma- the Maul Gates. And I would join the, the movement. Gates. For sure. <laughs> Whatever movement y'all create, whatever their high is, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in. I fuck with Kevin Gates, man. No, we heard you. Oh I, my I, god, I, they call <laughs> mates. It'd be like friends, mates, mates. Maul and Gates. What's that? The, the, right. the, the new mates. Album? Right. Yeah, like or what's that? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like yo, it's yeah, so I listen to West Side. I thought music, we talked man. about that on actually. Bronson put out a new <laughs> album, EP, some shit. It's a lot of it's, shit I listen to. I'm still listening to Belly's album. I didn't click that. Yeah, it's pretty dope. It's a lot of fucking music. Action Bronson was dope. You said, yeah. It's uh, called it's White Bro. Right? Alchemist and Derringer and fucking Party Supplies. Oh. I'm, I'm Beats. Listening. Uh, what I'm a cheat code. Yeah. Beats. Listening. Beats for days. I'm tuned in. I like action anyway, but. There's one name that you guys left out of the whole equation. New album? Well, we didn't, yeah. We just kind of brushed past the Her care. Project. But. Oh, no. We got to get back on that. But Hold on. before we get to Her. It came out Friday? You talking about Takeoff? Last Friday. No, I didn't listen to Takeoff yet. It shit is all right. I'm talking about The Legend. You guessed it. No one guessed. Keep sweat. Oh, I did not know. I did see Keep sweat. Keep sweat. Keep sweat. I didn't listen to it though. I missed it. How is that? Oh, you run. run. How well, shout it? out to Keep Sweat. Man, <laughs> shout out to Keep Sweat. Yeah, but man, how's the album? Just trying to like make some young songs. <laughs> oh damn. Oh, he not in his. It was Keith. Bag. It was Keith Tiller. He put the he put the Beijing on the vocals. <laughs> you know when the older artists put the Beijing on the vocals. Keith Lane, I can't. Wait, Come on, Keith. Don't tell Wait. me he darkened his flow. <laughs> he darkened his flow. He he, he yeah, died the bed want, and all that. You want Keith's old old shit by his old album? Ooh, nah, new, Keith, the, Keith the, ain't died the, a bed. The new though. album is called Playing for Keeps. Mm. Right, so I was hype when I saw it. I don't like. Is he that. begging? As long as he's begging on the project, so I don't none, care. So I oh, clipped, I thought no. I I, no, he's begging. <laughs> he joined the gang. I don't want to hear Keith Sweat say Nina. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna. <laughs> that itty bitty money Keep Sweat. <laughs> no, no, in part that was the chorus. <laughs> and it was the name of the song <laughs> and, and it was track spell, one How do you spell uh, And it was track one Track one is very important If you ever try to put an album together <laughs> Yo, I don't, don't want to hear Keith so talk really about really sound advice start, yeah. Starting with Eeny Meeny Mo yeah. Veteran in wild. the game <laughs> Yo I don't want to hear Yo Joe what's, what's some advice you have For new artists out there Yo if you want to make an album It's track one Damn. <laughs> Telling Keith Sweat how to make an album is crazy <laughs> Yo, I'll, he had Keith. to have Googled hey, how to spell to Eeny Meeny Miney Moe. Come on. Ma. And it's Keith, not Keith. Keith. K-E-E-F. 
Come on, come on, man. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo on track listen, one. Like, listen, I need that what, on at least six. That's what Keith, that's what Keith wanted to take. I need a, Come I need, out the gate. Yeah, I need eeny, a few meeny, different vibes mo. before you start giving me. Before you start pointing eeny, shit meeny. out. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I don't want to hear Keith talking about the Nina, though. Like, y'all missed that bar. Keith, he walking around with the ham on him still? Or Keith got to be yeah, 50 Nina years for his fever. <laughs> Wait, nah, before dude. you start pointing <laughs> shit out, yeah, Keith, you gotta like reintroduce yourself to niggas. Man. Yeah, let us know how you've <laughs> been doing, quest, my nigga. On your quest this weekend, Joe, did you Google the origins of Eeny Meeny Miny Mo? No. Because now I'm curious. <laughs> no, I did not, but damn, I was Probably listening. something racist. I was listening to that, like, damn, where the hell is cut close when you need them? <laughs> <laughs> now, that sound is over with. That ain't coming damn. back. Damn. Did, 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 don't did do that to cut close. No, I, I don't care. I'm saying that. I would love, if he has a feature with them, That's I want to hear it. I, I definitely want to hear it, but I don't think that that's coming back. It's over for that. Oh, man, that's pretty funny. That was funny. Did you guys hear the, uh, this is off in a tangent, but I just read it earlier, uh, the story of ODB making uh, Honey with Mariah? That shit was amazing. <laughs> no, but, but I'm sure it's probably the best story I've ever it heard. It was amazing. And is there footage of this? Did you hear it? No. Only me and Parks? All right, no, no, I'm fine. Nope, nope, nope. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That was funny. They need a video of them in the studio making that record. She Any wasn't story there. I've heard of oh, she ODB wasn't doing anything. That's hilarious. True. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. I'll try to read quickly. Uh, this gentleman says, Rooney, let me not do that. He says, I reached out to ODB and he wanted 15000 to rap on the record. At the time, that was a lot of money, but it really wasn't for Mariah Carey's budget. So no problem. He finally showed up three hours late. And when he got there, <laughs> it was about 1030 at night. He had been drinking and was on the phone when he walked in. Irate, screaming at some girl how he's going to come kill her. He's going to kick her ass and then whispering, I love you. Then screaming again. This went on for an hour. No judgment here. <laughs> he finally came out and was like, yo, pardon me. This bitch is driving me crazy. I need some Moet and some Newports before we get into this record. I no, said. No. I want to stop at him. Say, uh, pardon me, everyone. <laughs> As a, like a nice gesture. Pardon. This bitch is wild. <laughs> I said, it's 1230 at night, bro. Uh, night now, bro. I don't know where we're going to get Moet from. He started yelling at the assistants, calling them white devils, saying, you, you, <laughs> you white devils, y'all don't want black people to have shit. They went, out for, they went out for like an hour, and the only thing they could find was some Heinekens. He was so disgusted, he threw a bottle on the floor. <laughs> Sounds like a Rory, wild Rory rage rant. That sounds like a Rory, yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah, Rory's been there. No <laughs> judgment from him. Throwing bottles. At this point, Mariah had been calling every hour and hour, wanting to hear something over the phone. Tommy was pissed because Mariah was keeping him up, so he finally got on the phone with ODB, and after that, finally, we started to record. He said one line, me and Mariah go back like babies and pacifiers, then paused, said, yo, I need to take a break. <laughs> and then went to sleep for 45 minutes. He woke up and was like, yo, let me hear what I did so far. <laughs> yo, yo. Wait, 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 where did I go? Wait, yo, waking up saying, let me hear what I did so far for two far. But everybody has done that. Have you heard your album? But everybody's done that. We played his one line back. He sang another line or two and then slept for another hour. He would come up with a line, punch that in, go to sleep. He went to sleep three different times in the middle of trying to get that one verse done. If you listen to the record now on his verse, you can hear it's punched in in pieces. He actually told the engineer, y'all better have your shit together and record it right because I'm not doing it twice. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the greatest Yo. fucking story ever. It's not finished. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. There's more. I stayed in the studio until we finished it. So I was sleeping in the studio when Tommy and Mariah called me, and they said they loved the record. But Tommy had a bright idea. Let's get ODB back in the studio, and instead of just New York in the house, do a line for all the cities. I said, you've got to be kidding me. Of course, ODB wanted another 15 grand. He came back to the studio, a little more mellow, but dead tired. He's sitting there picking food out of his teeth. He pulled a piece of food out of his mouth so big it was scary. I was like... How long did you walk around with that food in your mouth? Like, it was unbelievable. Then he fell asleep on the couch, kicked one of his shoes off. His foot smelled so bad, we, we had to let him sleep and leave the control room. Eventually, we got the other parts done, and that was that. And I thought the story was over. There's more. 
A week later, <laughs> it was time to shoot a video. We reached out to him, and he wanted another 15 grand. <laughs> Sounds about right. No problem. So I sent a car to his house, and he drank every friggin' thing in the limo. Showed up at Rye Playland in New York and went to his trailer. I asked him, do you need the stylist to buy clothes for you? He said, nah, this is hip-hop. I'm just rocking some jeans and Tim's. Right. That day he was in a trailer in and out of consciousness when I said, we're getting ready to do a scene. He said, I don't got no clothes. How am I going to do a video if I ain't got nothing to wear? <laughs> I started screaming at him. <laughs> Yo, is this not the greatest ODB story That's the in the world? Shit ever, man. Tommy told us, take my corporate credit card to the mall. Old, uh, old Dirty disappeared for uh, a minute, and we found him in the store trying to buy Louis Vuitton luggage. He said, I'm going to use it for a scene. <laughs> the luggage. <Yeah. laughs> that luggage real. never made it. He came no. back he on the set it. with all these bags of Tommy Hilfiger clothes and Timberlands. It was finally time for him to do the scene, and I promise you, he put on a pair of jeans and Tim's and said, I'm going to wear, I'm not going to wear a shirt. I don't need clothes. I wanted to shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was it for the most part. I have an idea. Uh, I want to tie up the clown. Oh, shit. I have an idea. I want to tie up the clown. Plus, Mariah turned him on to peach schnapps, which she always used to drink. He drank like two bottles. So between the hot sun and him drinking two bottles was disastrous that day. Whatever, whatever. So yeah, that was the story of that. That's some funny I thought that was a great story. I'm, so that's amazing. Amazing. I'm mad. Rest no in peace Who to told ODB. that story? Rest in peace. Uh, Rooney. We needed ODB. The and that's from ODB. Billboard. Uh, I took that from Billboard. That that's was a great, hilarious. Great, 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 great story, read. Rooney. Uh, all right, what's, what else is back important in the world? Uh, let's get back to Rory at Trader Con. Trader Con. Yes. Oh, wait, before we do Trader Con, ladies and gentlemen, that's right, you know what time it is. And to all you people spamming my mentions about how you pay a lot of money for ad block and don't want to hear an ad during a podcast, guess why they pay me a lot of money? To get around your ad block. So guess what <laughs> you're going to get, buddy? A fucking ad. <laughs> I be feeling so bad because, yo, I'm with you guys, man. Ad blocks and block it. <laughs> and here comes goofy-ass Joe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, where's Brooklyn at? On BT's Hustle in Brooklyn, Danielle isn't just ambitious in business. She's a go-getter in relationships, too. You see that move she made on Jesse? And here comes Darnell trying to talk to Jesse about a woman he ain't even supposed to be with. Those are the best ones, though. Where, Rory... Where is this going? Only one way to find out, you guys. Keep watching Hustle in Brooklyn or catch up on BET Now app if you're just getting familiar. Hustle in Brooklyn is all new Tuesdays at 10, 9 central on BET. You sound like a movie phone guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm certain there's like, a lot of money. Please select three. I'm certain that there's a lot of money in being the movie phone guy. They don't have that, Does that still exist? I think yeah, the guy know. that invented movie phone, that was him. Oh, for real? I think so, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, movie phone doesn't exist no more. Really? No, nah. you just go. You can buy tickets. You can just... <laughs> there's an app. Go on the light to say for the fucking the shit. Just. There's a lot of shit that niggas thought they would need that we didn't need. Everything is just That's a newer version, version of... That's true. Everything. I used to it. save TV guides. <laughs> Did you, funny That's story. The, wait, but what? All right. The, they always send you a new one. What, what did you need to save it for? They might be valuable the old one day, Rory. <laughs> Exactly, Park. <laughs> what were you saying, Mom? A, a few years ago, we were in St. Thomas, and the 411 in St. Thomas is a dude that answers the phone that's, that's obviously from there, and he just t tells you where to go. <laughs> <laughs> he just tell you where it's at? Mom, you can't. <laughs> Are you laughing at St. Thomas? <laughs> no, because listen, it's a dude that just answers the four on one phone. All the and you got to tell him what, what yo. you're looking for. He <laughs> tells you to yo. make a left. Like, yo. <laughs> it's like you calling your I swear to God. It's like you calling your boy. And he's just like, nah, make the left at the stop sign. Go yeah. straight down. If you go past house, the yellow the house, right. you went too far. I swear that's exactly how it is. That was, mom, that, that was the concierge. I thought that was great. I was like, this is lit. I love this four on one. That was anyway. definitely the concierge you call. No, it was four on one. <laughs> really? Yeah, seriously. Four one for the island. Remember that story I told on here about Ja Rule, um, over my back during my big money fantasy football. Yeah, you're using your laptop. Mm -hmm. How's he doing? Yeah, what's what's he ranked now? 
in the standings. I play him this week. <laughs> okay. You got a little side bet going? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is he doing better than you? I just want to remind you guys, for the people that didn't hear, <laughs> this was my first live fantasy draft. And it, it appeared to be Ja Rule's first draft, too. Like he you mean because he didn't show up with he anything? He came in with like a pencil behind his ear. <laughs> <laughs> like a, no, no, a piece of fucking loose leaf. <laughs> like a button down. <laughs> so he just appeared to be very... It's like his first time looked like a GM. Ja yeah. thought all the niggas from the NFL was going to be he, in the 40-40. Yeah, and then he was <laughs> like... <laughs> Wait, we doing what? <laughs> so then he was using my laptop. I thought this was a draft party. <laughs> <laughs> he was using my laptop like with me. And I really felt like he impeded on my judgment quite a few times. But, I mean, I love putting it on me. So what, what are you going to do? All right. He was whispering, uh, it's murder in your ear. Ja Rule leads the league with a 7-2 and two record. <laughs> 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 you laughing at that pencil, nigga. Yeah, uh, I face him. I squeaked out a win. So I'm 3-6, and six, which matters none. I just want to read you guys his team. <laughs> From your laptop. You just got to be careful when you laugh at niggas, man. Yes, from from his laptop. He has Cam Newton at quarterback, Hmm. Kareem Hunt, Lamar Miller, Michael Thomas, Robert Woods, Vance McDonald, and that's where his team falls off with Cole Beasley, the Cowboys defense, and Mason Crosby, a kicker. Cowboys defense is a good defense. Yeah, they're projected with a, a nice eight. He's got Cam Newton, Kareem Hunt, Michael Thomas, and Robert Woods, and Lamar Miller. That's all you need. Lamar Miller's on the bye, so I might squeak something out. His bench is not so great. <laughs> so he's, well, uh, he's, he's, he's killing best, you. Best of luck. Some, he, he killed you with your old laptop. Yeah, I'm a little tight about it because I feel like I made a wrong choice somewhere. Was he talking you out of shit? I think I went for Jimmy Graham when Michael Thomas was there. <laughs> What an idiot. I am a complete idiot. Really well, important guess, to know when you're an idiot, honestly. Yes. All right. Another, pain pain another, is, in fact, love after this match. Well, if 50 keeps doing whatever he's doing with these shenanigans with Ja, I might squeak one out. He might forget uh, to set some shit. I don't think he's rattled by them anymore. Probably yeah. part of his everyday life. Is he rattled by his man going to jail for those fake cabanas over there in DR? <laughs> Yo, why do LA people, LA people call DR the DR? The DR? The DR? <laughs> yes. The DR. It, I mean, it is the Dominican Republic. No. Nah, it doesn't matter. It's not. But it, it's DR. I mean, yeah. It's DR. All right, come on. Let's talk about something important. Oh, shit. Fam, I was waiting all fucking week to get here, mm-hmm. here. to come talk to you guys. <clears throat> yes. I was really excited. Oh, is this the song you wrote? Uh, I see what you did there. This is not Black Black China. China No. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. You were in the trap this weekend? No. Biebs was in the trap. Oh. (laughs) Biebs was, in fact, in the trap. They had that nigga doing all kinds of (laughs) (laughs) That's how you could tell when you in the hood. Like, (laughs) Biebs in the trap. I see what you did there. Now, Man, them thugs was making that nigga sing, sing, Word. song, nigga. <laughs> Push he was singing, now. he was Push playing up. basketball. Oh, <laughs> Dance, <Wait>. nigga. <laughs> they had Bieber in the middle before, of the fucking b- bloods b- doing some crazy Before we get there at all, like, this is the only place where we can really have an honest discussion about things. You got to be careful about where you're at, where you're going, because that's where you can get your fucking head blown off at. True. Mm-hmm. I learned that when somebody tried to blow my head off. Or you can like, be forced to do push-ups. And sing. Or dance. that. I'll take that over. Why was the former? Why was the Beeb? See, I was worried about Rory over at Trader Con. <laughs> why was Beebs in that particular part of town? Rory might have went through the same shit. He just didn't tell us. I do have a theory that Rory be getting beat up out of town and he don't tell us. <laughs> yeah. Beat up? Like physically hit? Yeah. I, yeah. Come, back lo- I yeah. come back looking yeah, just we, fine. We yeah. wouldn't be able to tell if he got beat up. Yeah, knocks him on white people. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I, in fact, be getting beat up? A, uh, Turn a black yeah, eye right back pink. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that nigga be in the mirror with the spoon. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, you can't fool Happy me, in my nigga. Corner, the cold with the ice on my eye. <laughs> nigga put the cold spoon on his eye. You know what's funny? I got a lot of flack for that ice on the eyes. 
shit. Mine wasn't really swollen at all. That's what. We not even talking about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, That's why I didn't understand why you even did all that. I'm like, yo, Joe is so dumb. You put like, sauce you, on it? I'm, and, I'm and extra. And opens his laptop. Yo, I'm just saying, nigga. Fam, you did not need that big ass towel with that ice in it. Like, St- stupid deep brain Joe thought that that would be the perfect alibi in case somebody died out there outside of the trailer. No. No? You didn't have to open up I was the laptop. icing my eye. I watched, listen, I watched Joe. enough Law & Order to know <laughs> that if there's video of your alibi... Then you are safe. Yeah. That was Joe, my thinking. Joe might have been the first six nine with these trolling videos. Damn. Nah, Joe didn't really troll that hard. <laughs> Thank you, Maul. Not Thank that you, Maul. Fuck, I had a whole raw steak on his eye. Raw Rory got a spoon <laughs> on him. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dan, what are we talking about just now? Justin Bieber in, in the projects. Why was he out there? Come on, give it to me for real. Honestly. Maybe try to avoid traffic. And yes. try to go like the Bieber, local way. Bieber went to hit. It's part Bieber of his press to, run. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I had a theory that they did it on purpose. But For sure. He went to an Instagram chick crib <laughs> and caught a flag. That is one of the only times that a dude will go. He has security with him, though. So. Good thing. Yeah, he has security with him. <laughs> I don't think he leaves his house without it. Yeah, he has security with him. But that was funny. <laughs> like the way they was cutting that, the clip. No, yeah. that, that <laughs> up. Now he's and playing singing. basketball. And I don't know if you guys <laughs> have ever tried to get AAA in the hood. Takes, take a while. takes a while. Yeah. And if you say I'm no. Justin Bieber, they're not believing it. They're like, man, whatever, hanging up on you. If you've ever been <laughs> <laughs> telling Triple no, it's yo, Justin Bieber. Yo, it's Justin. My car well, bad, broke. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. If you've ever just been in the hood to hang out with people that you probably shouldn't have hung out with, you were going to end up doing some things that you probably just didn't want to do. For sure. That's a fact. They put that nigga through the hood of Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga went through the hood triathlon. I'm sure he got the knowledge too. And the Sing, hoop, and oh, push yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, but that's dangerous too. <laughs> See, that's where it gets tricky. Because your knowledge and your understanding of things versus the street nigga's knowledge and understanding and interpretation of things and just how that conversation goes sometimes is really weird. <laughs> but I just told a nigga one time, yo, you do me a favor, go in the store and just give me something to drink. Boy, did that turn bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, nigga, fuck you mean. Like, Yo, going to the store for you, nigga. The tiniest things yeah. will fucking... You're right, it's on, nigga. Don't disrespect me. I ain't going to the store like, for fam, you, nigga. We hang out every day. <laughs> like, every, nah. like, I just want to... I'm just parched. Nah, niggas ain't going to the and store. And now you pussy. Yeah, that's what going now to you the parched, store was. Now you, parched for be, now you pussy for being parched. Yeah. Yo, you ever you ever order like from Uber Eats or something, and then the nigga that bring it, you know, is like a felon. <laughs> yes, <laughs> nigga brought yes. nigga brought me some food yesterday. I ain't gonna lie, my nigga. <laughs> I thought he robbed the Uber Eats. <laughs> man, fam, where you get my food from, man? Now the felon Uber driver is a little scary too. Yo, he was looking at me like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like next time I'm gonna call you a little before because I was down here for like ten minutes. <laughs> I'm like, fam, I came down as soon as you called. My phone. All right, I found myself no. negotiating with the nigga with my food. I'm like, yo, hand me my bag, nigga. Like, I don't have to stand here, and keep talking to you, nigga. I paid for this already. Nah, Parks, I've definitely had the, the felon Uber driver try to That's put true. the window down in the back. It's live. Like, hey man, you mind if I put the window down? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Guess I'll just sweat it out back here nah, quietly. The Uber driver is not funnier than the Uber Eats nigga though. The no. Uber Eats delivery yeah, that's dude. Wild. That's, that's, wild. that's the that's the funniest. Wait, wait, let me make a confession, man. Me and Simbi, we be in the house discriminating against Uber Eats. <laughs> The drivers? You better believe <laughs> me and Sin take a long look <laughs> at the driver. At the picture of the oh, nigga yeah, yeah, driving. Yeah, yeah. Read that fucking car. <laughs> if you don't look at the, the picture for a while, you're nuts to get in somebody's car or let them come to your house. Wait, wait we be mad that it don't get bigger. Oh, you can't explain <laughs> like, it. So now we not dumbass and like, hmm, <laughs> what kind of make and model is this car? So we were like, uh, can you please... <laughs> Please just leave the food by the door. <laughs> nah, we be out. You know what I mean, <laughs> just just leave it and go ahead. It's fucked up. Sometimes them niggas leave it on the door. Spicy too. Yeah, like they spit in it or some shit. <laughs> yeah. A little crumpled up. Yeah, fam, fam. I said leave it at the door. Yeah. Not hanging on the doorknob. Yeah. Sideways gravy <laughs> hanging all off the oxtail now. Like, all right, I'm gonna fuck you niggas up. <laughs> 
<laughs> don't do nothing but give him one star. Yeah, wait. One night I was home alone on a Friday night because now I, I like kind of like Friday nights in the house. Friday night I'm in the crib sitting out partying, acting young. Cool. I'm starving. Let me hit the Uber Eats up, but it's Friday. Let me spice it up on these niggas. Order the Fridays. Yeah. Ooh, stay, <laughs> Friday, the Jack. Friday, whoa. <laughs> Double entendre <laughs> Friday for Don't Joe. even ask me how. <laughs> Ooh, the, Fridays the, Jack, the Jack Daniels steak and yo, shrimp. Uh, yo, <laughs> it's it's Jack Daniels <laughs> living. On, yo, Friday's <laughs> with Jack Daniels sauce on their <laughs> salad. Oh, Friday's <laughs> Jack Daniels is gross. No, sad, it's great dude. when you're sitting there. Nah. <laughs> it's great when you get it five seconds out the kitchen. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When, when that should take a 45 minute ride. <laughs> That stupid ass, goofy ass Uber East nigga, to, uh, he had a, a stop near you. Bitch, you don't know what's near me. You making mad lefts. <laughs> Joe would order the Jack Daniels steak and shrimp. That, that steak looked trinity to that ass when it came. It was all cold. Yeah, yeah they nope. definitely that have Jack a steak Daniels for yeah. in the restaurant and a steak for delivery. Nah, two different steaks. those type of restaurants you don't want to get delivery from. Ever. Like a chain. No, if you're not eating that shit fresh out the kitchen. Because that shit is coming from the package. Not <laughs> even that Applebee's car side to go shit works. Unless you yeah. drive 100 Nigga, miles an hour. Nigga, try to order yeah. breakfast in the Uber Eats. Be a grits oh, guy. Nah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> even <laughs> eggs. Like a, if you like yeah. a runny egg, you're not getting <laughs> nah, a runny egg. Fuck no. That egg oh, is going to be hard as a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm a Ordering one. breakfast in general is kind of trash. I'm Pancakes f- are gross yeah. after a certain time. French yeah. toast is horrible. Immediately. I'm going to fuck one of the niggas up, I swear. I'm telling you. For real. So do you, do you give them bad ratings? Are you a bad rating? Guy? Everybody gets a four. I would read I would read your Yelp page, Joe. You got to really do some <laughs> dumb shit for me to not give you a four. Because most of the times I'm not even... I give four a isn't that generous, by the way. There's only five parks. Yeah, no. I'm usually four is all, generous. I'm a five or a one. You get five or one. There's no in between for me. Damn. Yeah. Okay. I okay. don't I don't even rate. But four is generous. <laughs> I don't rate. <laughs> I don't think so. When there's only five... Four, four is very generous. If you're not a four, you should almost not be allowed to drive an Uber. Shit. It's some, I've been to some rides with Ubers. What's your, well, what's go, your passenger go, Uber? Go ahead and get one of them niggas, because now Uber try to give you some metrics. Go ahead and get one of them <laughs> dudes. He's only completed 400 rides. <laughs> yeah, experience that. And, and tell me about it. Uber was giving free rides to the polls so, so people can vote. That's pretty cool. I thought, I thought it was interesting. I do enjoy the fact that companies now, really, really big uh, public and private companies, are forced to pick a side. Yeah, they got to pick a K. You you have to you have to pick a side of the fence, like even in business, and and that's why it's interesting to me because you know they say all well, the money is the root of all evil and uh, business drives everything out here. But today, how you feel on on social issues? <laughs> is connected to how you're conducting your business. And it's not just in music and sports. It's all over. It's sure. all it's all over the industry. And I'm having a really fascinating time watching it. That's off on a tangent, but that's yeah. where I, that's where I am. It's pretty interesting watching the corporations well, scramble. Well, well, some of them, I'm not going to say they're that great when like all your consumers are a specific group of people. That's true. Like, it's not that groundbreaking. <laughs> it's not that groundbreaking when you're like, yo, I don't fuck with Trump and, you know, you fuck with major cities. Right. <laughs> like that's your consumer. I don't understand what you mean. Tell me what do you mean? I don't think it's that groundbreaking when companies are picking a side when all their consumers are on one side. If you're fucking with like a McDonald's that serves the whole entire world and they're picking a side, yeah, that's that's ad- admirable. That's mm-hmm. really poor business thinking. McDonald's is not thinking like they serve the world. <laughs> they they serve pretty much every community do they in the take country. A political side? I don't think they did. I, I was using an example of a company I don't think that's they all ever over. would. Right. I don't think they would either. But that's what I think that's what Rory's Rory's saying. They they, they would never. They would never do that. Well, let's get a bit more specific. Nike picked picked the side. Did they? With their Kaepernick support, yes. He was already a Nike athlete, though. I Nike. I I thought that was admirable because they served the whole. That didn't mean that they couldn't disassociate themselves. Oh no, no, no! Or not take a really bold stance in the matter, even if it's for a fraudulent stance. I won't speak to that. I don't know. But the fact that they did it. So I guess is that like your McDonald's theory, Rory? No, that's a company I would say that's admirable that they took that stance because they do serve the whole country. Yeah, so, that that is like, so that no, is like Nike's your McDonald's. Yeah, but white, I'm white saying people, I'm not doing it for the world. White people buy the shitty Nikes, man. So no, but, it wasn't that. But, but the, it's, it's, that speaks to Rory's point too. But the thing is, they can't Nike. If they would have tried to detach themselves from Kaepernick in that situation, that would have hurt Nike. That would have hurt for Nike. sure. 
For sure. Rory's Definitely point is, a, is, is a, <clears throat> to uh, me, like a real... But Nike does problem. a lot with showing their stance is all about equality. And, For sure. Like, even with their athletes. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm confused as to why Rory doesn't give more credence to that because a company is widespread. No, no, I am. I just said no, I, he, I applaud Nike for doing that because they serve the whole country. But I'm not going to do it for every company that like only serves a small, or not even a small, but just a certain part of the world or the of the country rather. Like, all right, yeah, we know <laughs> it's not affecting your business at all. Mm. I guess you I'm right. just not. <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. Like, if it's a uh, what, Wrangler, if Wrangler didn't make a stance. It, yeah, then it'd be like, well, yeah, you. That's irrelevant to this conversation. I'm talking about the companies that are making a stance on either side, not the people that are being silent. Wrangler is silent. I don't know where they stand. I don't know where they stand either. That's my point. <clears throat> you know where Wrangler stands, <laughs> right? All right. Well, I mean, well, if you if you wear the Wrangler, if you pick a company that specifically their consumer would be a minority, and they say fuck Trump, I'm not like whoa great political statement from you guys. It's obvious. That's who you serve. I'm sure you think that. Mm -hmm. It's just not, I'm not thinking you're you don't get doing something that, groundbreaking. Okay, but that, all right, but that thinking is still hazardous in business because the goal of business is business. So it's still admirable to me when a company, even if you, even if it's uh, obviously visible what their stance is or should be, takes the stance. Maybe that's me as a black person versus you as a white person, but I still. Well, I've said. I mean, still, I think I've said it multiple times. No, I think it's nice. This. I'm just not a, a. I know you're taking that stance. It's not. I said weird multiple times me. on this podcast that when someone does something right, whether it's for good intentions or bad intentions, you still have to applaud it. I've said that. Yeah, I'm applauding it. Fuck Rory. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> when. What are you about? Like when I watched, if you watch Saturday Night Live and they went against Brett Kavanaugh, I didn't think that was groundbreaking. <laughs> How did we get to this? And I was <laughs> they, trying, that whole entire audience doesn't fuck with that side of the world. We got to this when I was trying to walk y'all to Justin Bieber copping. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think he was doing? No. I mean. No, no, no. Justin Bieber has, wait, he's not going he to would cop. They he's come not to going him. there to cop. <laughs> they come to and him. And he's not copping. Yeah, like niggas ain't standing on the corner. Like niggas pull up to your hotel now and bring you weed and pills or whatever else you want. Okay, <clears throat> Justin now, Bieber doesn't cop. We've we've just walked anything. into a very hypothetical conversation, so let's remove Justin Bieber for a second because we fuck with him. And all you can't that, all that matters is great. Wait, hypothetically speaking, you don't think Justin Bieber will cop his own drugs from like a hood? No, no, I don't even think that's fuck hypothetical. No. I think that's a, a confirmed. No. Hell no, I know regular niggas that don't do that. <laughs> Nigga, that's worth all those millions and and staying in. And that's why I'm all so hard to figure out. Because, because if I asked you that same question as far as uh, famous niggas going to hoods to get pussy, mm -hmm. you would say it happens 100%. But then when I ask you about it as far as famous niggas going to hoods for other things, you go back into the, no, that person would never do that, even though you know instances where a famous person would would act outside of the norm. We're talking, well, about, we're talking well, about Justin Bieber. That's well, my not, point here. Not only that, I'm but it's about that different. specific person, not just famous people in general. Justin Bieber is not going to the hood to cop drugs or fuck women. I'm, but no, it's not even that. Now a lot of dudes are not going to the hood to cop drugs. Like, drugs are, people have, you know, are delivering drugs now. Yeah, like especially they pull up, in California. Yeah, yeah, California, they, they right? pull with, with the Uber Eats front. Now, a lot now, of the delivery drug niggas be trash. Now going now going to see a woman is different. <laughs> going to see a woman is different. That's totally different. That's like you know you know this girl. She has a, her own place. Whatever, whatever. You probably been there a couple times. You might even be paying the rent if you're a celebrity like that. <laughs> that might be like your little side chick. Were you guys Were you guys shocked at the amount of push ups he was able to do or not do? <laughs> like he was he nah, was gassed by like by like six. Well, we don't know what else they had him doing. We just saw like clips. <laughs> we, we have a pretty good idea. Yeah, he might have been out there. Justin, well, we don't know what set that was. Yeah, like we don't know what he was doing. That might have been the last of the he Olympics. Threw a couple little clap push ups in there. At the yeah, end, so. like he might have did like a whole set. We don't know what he I did. I just want to know how they like how it started. <laughs> like, what you mean, nigga? Saw, Ray, get nigga out the saw, car, nigga. <laughs> nigga saw a Ray, <laughs> start doing. Nigga saw a Range Rover pulled over, broken down. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. Of how he just started doing push ups. What you mean? I, I can tell you, I can guarantee you that it started with whoever the gentleman was that initiated the conversation with Biebs 
let him know that that was his hood. <laughs> and probably says some shit like, you look, yeah. you smaller in person. So Beeves had to let him know, like, nah, hold on, don't get it fucked up. Like, so, so you're small yeah. in person. But that's bad because now if I do the, have to defend myself, this is my I'm hood. Guessed. Yo, you good out here. Mm. You know what I mean? That's probably what initiated it. And now you know that you, you have, have to, to do take... whatever this person says. Yeah. But then that's the bad shit. Him. Because you, it could end up, which has happened to a lot of people. That person is, in fact, not good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Rock, you, you asked sleep. out. Anybody that's ever said that to me, no, they weren't good. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't as good as somebody wants them to be, at least. No, they weren't. Yeah, you should never take that. Or take it with a grain of salt, rather. Um, to anyone that says, yo, you good out here. This my hood. I got you. Yeah, that's why I stay home. <laughs> <laughs> This is my hood, my house. I'm good at home. Yeah. <laughs> I got you in my living room. I can assure you, <laughs> nothing is going to happen to you. All right, Maul, let's go to your top, your 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 list of topics over here and delve into your brain and, and see what's happening up there. Well, that's just the thing. Okay. <laughs> you have quite a bit on that list. I do. So, <clears throat> give me something. All right, let's see. Uh... Maul with the let's see is always good. <laughs> Wellness centers, you know, a lot of women own these wellness centers, these places where after women get surgeries and, you know, plastic surgeries, they have to go to like these centers to take care of themselves and make sure that they don't get any infections and setbacks from the surgery. Wait, but like, wait, that's what wellness centers are? Is that what a way. wellness center is? I didn't know. Thank I you they were for answering juice. the wait question I've been wondering for five years now. Thank yeah, you. I, thought, yeah. I thought they were doing yoga and getting juice. No, that's what the wellness centers are. It's like, it's like the aftercare centers. Because like Joe and I <laughs> asked a, a young woman this a couple years ago that owned one and she could not give us a straight answer of the place that she owned all of the women I know that participate or work at a wellness center they can never describe what happens at a wellness center all I leave that conversation thinking is well wellness is important <laughs> it is important well I, I, well, I in juice. fact I asked was well, there any doctors at the wellness center she said no no so I said, is there like masseuses there? She was like, well, some of them. Mm -hmm. I was like, can you get a pedicure there? <laughs> well, some of them. Mm -hmm. I could never get a straight answer on what exactly was always at a well. Like if you had to go to the health department and be like, all right, this is what needs to be in your wellness center. Couldn't get a straight answer. No. Yeah, I mean, we could speculate all night, but you know, it's definitely a front for other activities. <laughs> They might be selling pussy in there, is what you yeah, say. Yeah, you can get you, you can get well in the back. <laughs> you can get well in the front and nest in the back. <laughs> you can definitely get the nest all the way in the back. Last door on the left. Word. That's where nest at. Yeah, that's what nest. That's you, what you can, nest. You can come in well. Yeah, and then get that nest. Get that Got nest, guys. I'm just. That's what it is, bro. We just got to start calling it. When you walk past these centers, you just give a salute and keep walking. You ain't got to. Okay. We but know what's so going it's, on. It's somewhere where you don't have to do like the code happy ending. No. They just know what it it's is. It's a happy meet. Everything is happy. <laughs> happy beginning. Uh, happy uh, beginning. Happy middle. Happy middle. I promise you. It's a happy I'm ending. A happy a, front. I'm going to find a topic. <laughs> <laughs> it's all types of happy. It's happy everywhere. I swear I am. Don't you. Hey, if you're at work right now, don't you worry. I got a topic coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. We, we, we uncovered the code We cracked the mystery But how do you conclude that though? Have you ever seen When a woman leaves The wellness center? I don't know a I had never seen a chick Go to the wellness center uh -huh. I actually don't know Where any <laughs> Is there one <laughs> in New York? <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> they go in But they never come out <laughs> Yeah, Joe, we're going to solve this mystery today, buddy. <laughs> we always see when they go in. We never see when they leave, though. Word. We know there's codes that we could use mm -hmm. to get 20% off. Yep. Mm. Aha. There is something going on. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you, man. <laughs> yeah, women run a... I'm telling it's women a sick good, game man. out here, man. Sick games. <laughs> women are the world's greatest influence, For uh, sure. influencers. For sure. Oh, absolutely. They are. Give me some more, Maul. Well, anyways, your, your list, your list wait, is intriguing. I mean, oh, do wait, you guys bro. have any wellness centers you know in the city? Are they on the Yelp? It's a secret society. <laughs> Damn. Yo, I never How do I get in the wait. society more? I never, <laughs> I never told y'all that story. I'm not telling it now either because we just talked about a bunch of bullshit. One day I'm going to tell a story of when I went to the spa with like a, a woman. Mm -hmm. Like she booked the, the, the double massage. Sounds like we're here now. Let's, let's no, let's no, 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 we're not. No, no, Parks. No, we're not, nigga. You tried to chase a waterfall at some point. You're going to walk me right to this one. Painted more than her toes. The, the chick booked the double massage 
And like when we got there, she thought it was cool, like for me to get the dude <laughs> as the masseuse. Yeah, like okay. she took the girl. Oh yeah, no. Well, and maybe I, and I got the dude. <laughs> and then well, stop. I'm a big Just stop, man. Just stop. What was his name? Just stop. <laughs> Just stop. Did he have gentle hands? Because we already know. We're about to go into uncharted territories, B. Wait, hold on. That's you were scared of the topic we was talking about. If you sit here and tell me, yeah, word. that's what's scary. If you sit here and tell me you got a massage from a man. I did. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, you are nastier than I thought you were. Come on, you get wait, nastier time every out. week. Time out, time out. I don't think that's right. That's nasty. There's no way No Say no. Well, Go in the cupboard over there No yeah <laughs> Get this nigga The the, the but wait, nasty boy But listen boy. Hear me out at least Okay Damn I, I'm getting crucified yeah. Before I even Fuck yeah Well this is America Cause you knew When she took the lady And you was like Oh this is We boy. got there And that's when I was Faced well, with the decision Well they asked you before By the way Let's They let's asked her a step. I They know. asked her She was aware And they asked What you want You can ask for two women You can ask for two men You can ask for a man Or a woman Or, or they tell mm-hmm. you What's available Mm-hmm. So they asked her, I was not a part of this procedure. Mm-hmm. I was not a part of the thinking or the decision making. Mm-hmm. So fix your fucking face. <laughs> it's fixed. So when she took the girl, me being a huge LBGT community guy, I just thought it would look away in the moment to say, you know what, Duke? <laughs> I'm going to just chill. I'm going to just keep my shirt on, bro. And then, and then a part of me felt like, like, I had a lot of stress in my back. <laughs> oh, my God. Didn't need the extra strength. He looked pretty strong. Oh sometimes, sometimes, I, hands. Because sometimes. Yeah, parks. Yo, fuck, was handling Joe. You wanted man. this nigga to relieve Moth the stress Rory. in your back? <laughs> you wanted this big muscle nigga to get, to get the stress out your back? Nah, he looked like a... Nah. All right. Yo, what's up, Yo, listen <laughs> But why you? But why it's always to me? (laughs) Why the energy always got? I'm telling the story. You don't talk. But why the energy always got to come to me though? You said you had some tension in your back. Yeah. Nah. Sometimes I've gotten a massage, like the deep tissue massage. From a (laughs) woman, and she hasn't been able to get all the stress out your back. But but Frank, so I didn't want to be the. (laughs) Eddie, Eddie got you. Eddie got you. Frank got you right. Franklin got you right. <laughs> Franklin, maybe yeah. <laughs> Frankie held it down. He got you right. <laughs> but y'all would have made... never had that much stress y'all, in my way. I'm just saying that to where a woman couldn't get. It out. All right, but have, wait around. <laughs> Your back can be stressful. Your back can be stressful. Pause. Yeah, no. Fuck you too, nigga. Your back can be stressful too, nigga. <laughs> That's crazy. You would have made it awkward. I would have been like, nah. I would prefer a woman. But if they didn't have a woman available. I'm just got to come back another day. <laughs> another day. My back. My you back. Gonna leave a, you was gonna leave the stress. <laughs> yeah, stress all back? my back. Yeah, it's a good day. Well, I didn't want to be that close minded. Mm-hmm. Like, so it was a good deed, good gesture. So I went in there, and how was the massage? I laid down. Yeah, like how was the conversation? Nigga Joe tried to keep it street. He's like, yeah, because yo, these young niggas be out here wild. He kept, <laughs> yo. Joe kept his Tim's on. <laughs> Joe no, kept his Tim's on. <laughs> kept your socks on. <laughs> Yeah, yo, you know when they ask you, get, oh, who you know, just dress- said that? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> who said that? No, undressy, no, who said did you get butt ass? Out. You don't even want to talk like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, Joe, you got butt ass with a massage? <laughs> nah, I already had the towel on. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Yo! Wait, yo, it's man. gross to have a towel on? With a man rubbing on you? Yes! I didn't nigga. get to that part of the story yet. That's disgusting. Oh my God. So I went in there and laid down. Oh my God, yo. You, you know, I'm taking a break. Did you lay down I'll, face like, first or I got face up? Always. You, yeah, what, like which massage did you pick? No, no, answer. This no. is important. This is important. This is important. Was, it a thir- was it a 30? Was it a 60? Was it a 90? That's also yo. an important question. So you know it's funny when you lay down at those types of massages. Oh my god! Like the thing is, you book those types of two people massages for like a a two people experience. But then when you do it, they just lay you down next to each other. You don't get to look at the person, talk to them, no, you don't get to do true. shit. You just yeah. your face down. Yeah, and but now, they usually give you other people talking. So. 
So you go in there, they had this old sensual, sexy music on while Ricardo fucking starts putting, he did the LeBron powder up in the air. <laughs> did he ask you if the oil was too hot? <laughs> These niggas started rubbing some fucking, like, oh shit, all right, I felt a little less stressed yeah. when he was all up at the shoulder area. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> He said, is this too hard? Yeah. I don't know about it. I'm not telling the rest of the story. <laughs> Yo, no, we here now. You walked out there already. That's how y'all be getting. Nope, 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 no, 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 I'm cool. Because that's what it gets a little flagrant. This nigga Joe. Like, I was, I was going to step to him. Disgusted, man. <laughs> but I ain't going to lie. He did, some, nah, did you know they be doing it like they pull your limbs and shit? Pause. So like. He like had his hand on my like shoulder and he pulled my leg back in some type of way. <laughs> Put you in the full Nelson. <laughs> had him in the Boston Crab with hot oil. <laughs> you niggas was in there wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, man. That's a nasty massage though. Turned on some house that. music. Did you tip him? <laughs> Joe asked I think he was trying to stay away from the tip. Joe said, nah, are you here every Wednesday or just like... <laughs> <laughs> Did he give you the little card with the box yeah. so you can check yeah. off when you get a certain amount? Joe said, Come back and get the, the half off. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Next Wednesday, you here too? I asked him for his IG. <laughs> <laughs> That's what y'all saying I did? For sure. Yo, yeah, yeah. yo, yo follow you take, back. You could take the survey <laughs> I said, on follow. the way out. I didn't take the survey. Why say Vaughn's still laughing and taking a picture? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's having a blast, huh? Fuck out of here. Anyway, I never went, went back. Should have that wellness center. I never went back. What kind oh of music? I never, I never went back. It was just Kenny G or some shit. Yo. It was a flute. That is hilarious. <laughs> it was a flute, hey, Nigga unleashed the flute on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He was trying to Ew. unleash your oh, flute oh, on oh, you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yo, I ain't talking to that. Yo, 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 this nigga Joe is nasty, man. This nigga went to a nasty massage parlor. How was your girl's massage? <laughs> she was cool. <laughs> she was Lovely. <laughs> she, she enjoyed it? She Sensual. Have no, she have no stress. <laughs> no stress in her back. Yo, how y'all feel about women shaving their legs? <laughs> what? Is that like a must? Uh, yeah. Y'all yeah, are such chauvinistic pigs. You hear say Vaughn in the back? Yeah. yeah. He's saying that from the doghouse. Shut up. <laughs> you gonna take any type of leg right <laughs> yeah, now. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Nah, I don't think it's a. Uh, I don't think it's as serious as they may think. Women are so well, extra. I, some women are hairier than others. I'm only asking because I've seen a, a woman having this on her Instagram last week. Hey, bring that little stubble to the bed. Get over here, man. <laughs> And what I'm if it's more than a little stubble? I'm going to rub it, too, to get you past being insecure, too. True. That should, that should cut up your hand. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> My hands are trash. Yo, that's some funny shit. I don't know. Yeah, how do you feel? It can't be too, too hairy. Like, we can't be ridiculous with it. But if you, like, in between the shave, like, I ain't trying. Oh, yeah. I ain't trying. Yeah, a little stubble's fine. I'd like to think I graduated at some point to the chicks that, like, went to some building and had all types of tubes put on their body to fucking <laughs> that they'll like, never have for chicks, the rest of their life nah, chicks, is get, go, chicks is going to places to get vacuumed yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the wellness centers the wellness, the center. wellness center this is that's what happens, what's happening there it's what happens at the wellness center right, right. they're getting laser they get all, all, they, wait, yeah, they get I'm all not, the hair removed from their bodies I'm not the only guy that's seeing the chicks getting vacuumed right no, no, I've, seen no, it. no I've seen it got it that, right. it melts the cellulite do you think that that's healthy it can't be healthy no, nah, I've seen the some Instagram girls. That shit looks like Star Wars with all them fucking lasers them, on their ass. She do all that to be single. <laughs> all that. Nigga ain't walking up to you like, ooh, which vacuum guy you go to? <laughs> niggas never, niggas never notice when they get the uh, ass vacuumed. <laughs> like, oh, you just, oh, you got fresh off the vacuum. Oh, you fresh <laughs> off. Chicks be doing that shit for other chicks. Yeah. IG. That's all. Chicks know how much the va the ass vacuum costs must be. Like, damn, oh, she's stunned. You got the dust duster booty. <laughs> <She's stunned. laughs> all right, we're going to take a brief commercial break. <laughs> Wait, what's the name of that little... <laughs> What's the name of that little stupid vacuum that just go all around your house bumping his head? Oh, oh yeah, that dumbass shit. The Rubo turn. Yeah. <laughs> that one make love that dumbass vacuum. Yeah. Yo, plus, yeah. Look, yeah. look at the floor space he has. You think that thing is making it through this shit? Yeah, <laughs> look it is. at that. <laughs> 
It's a I know, robot, bro. Y'all know your, y'all know your Yo, cat being hit. Bark's got, got, got a Ruba and not a microwave. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't take your ass to Target. <laughs> Nigga, if you don't take crazy. Yo, get your that ass to Marshall's crazy. right, uh, right now, crazy, nigga. Yo. No. Go to the to have that store and, and no what? microwave is crazy. That's wild. That's definitely the wildest shit. Got ever. six MPCs. <laughs> not, a toast, <laughs> not a toast <laughs> oven. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this nigga got mad shit over here. Five keyboards. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Wu Tang's first <laughs> album on vinyl and no Michael. Nah, he got the fucking. What's that nigga name that robbed the medicine business? He got Martin Scorsese's Wu Tang <laughs> album. <laughs> Word. Parks, give the him the goods, one. nigga. Nah, I'm not kidding. The microwave. Yo, Parks bro. is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fight he's fighting. Yeah, yeah, I'm sticking by it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's saying strong for. He's not buckling on that one. Not at all. <laughs> That's where it stops. He's, yeah. in the, he's at the front Wait, lines. I'll give, I'll give Dre his props, yeah, but, but that's, that's where it stops. <laughs> God damn it, Parks. The bullshit is I went to eat breakfast at fucking 11 a.m., ordered dinner from the breakfast spot, and was like, fuck, here go Parks, man. So the, the dinner's in the car. So when everybody leave, I'm just throw it in the oven. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Can't do it. This nigga meant his fucking... Revolution against <laughs> Just get the fucking microwave Nah all right. nasty Boy that was kind of funny for me I'm gonna fuck all y'all up Alright <laughs> let's see So what else is important What else is important here Ja Rule Fantasy Oh 6 9 versus YG <clears throat> 6 9 versus YG And Academics Versus uh, The Shade <laughs> Maul is responsible For that titling <laughs> Don't all you act niggas come hitting me. Yo, you man phony. Y'all used to do a whole show together. Like, y'all be riding. <laughs> y'all be riding. <laughs> like, I'm just telling you what's going on. Maul said act was fighting the shade. And no, I was, he said he was in the shade at night. <laughs> which is way funny. <laughs> he was in the shade room. Oh, that's what that was. All right, now I'm taking it. <laughs> nope. That's what it was. Nope. Oh, man. Now I'm done. <laughs> okay, I'm not done. Maul, I can hear that in the microphone. Uh, I just need somebody to tell me why Takashi and YG are indeed beefing. They've been beefing for a little while with Instagram clips. Yeah, it's been a what couple is months this, now. What is th- this beef? It's co- oh, over the fuck LA, whatever Takashi said about LA. Oh, is that what it was? It, yeah, it was definitely when he was going on that LA tangent. I don't think he ever made something specific to YG, but naturally YG replied. And then it became about YG. So the rumor has it that uh, act, uh, not act. Takashi was not allowed into Trader Con. <laughs> Rory. Rory was. <laughs> was Ravy there? No, Raven was not there. Real nigga. That's why y'all picks was trash. We ain't really see no dope picks. <laughs> <laughs> did, did we get any dope picks? I saw, uh, I see the Rory. Pick with him and Kid and Play was, was I was about to cool. say I saw Rory and Kid and Play. Yeah, that was kind of. And cool. that's all. That that's cool. all we got. Shout out to Kid and Play. Yeah, that was cool, man. Damn, niggas ain't got the backup Ravy on deck. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy that y'all the wasn't backup. prepared. Nah, Ra- Raven roll with her little assistant now at, at the Paloozas. I know. So now you can't even hire backup Ravy. <laughs> Word. You gotta go to Ravy D. Damn, that's crazy. We ain't even gonna talk about Murder Inc. Hmm. Darker, deeper criminal <laughs> Um, All right, come on. Let's get into something. We ain't talked about shit for a whole hour and a half. We never talk about shit. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm confused about this YG uh, Takashi thing. But I, w- I will say this, though, about Takashi. And, I, you know, people know that I I, I support Takashi. You I are mean, definitely Trey Way in more way. No, I mean, I just, <laughs> I, I support. Listen, man, he's a young dude making money, making music, performing. He could be doing a a lot of other crazy things in the world. So I can't, I'm not mad oh. at that. I will say a lot of his ways of doing things is kind of like, fam, just focus on the music. You got the audience already. You have the following. And you make good records. So like just stay in that and, and live in that. And don't, you know, all the outside shit kind of ignore it. But I think he's, you know, his reputation is he's a, he's a, he, he wants this attention and this, and this negative energy in. You know, and I don't think that's what it is. I think that he really is at a point where he's like, yo, I just want to do what I do, make my music and move how I move. I'm not checking in with nobody. I'm not doing what people want me to do. I'm well, doing my well, own you're thing. You're on probation, so you're checking in with somebody. Well, I mean. <laughs> well, it did, seem, it did seem like he calmed down a little bit compared to what he was doing before. All right. Maul. Mills. Shout K-Shine. Out Mills. Shout out K-Shine. Did you see the battle? 
No. I haven't had a chance. Has anyone there, in the room seen the battle? Is there a date when it's going to drop? Or did you have to catch it on that live? No, nah, it should be out, it, right? it's, it's coming out soon, yeah. It rips out. Yeah. But I, I had a, a bunch of homeboys that was there, and they were... They would let me know what was going on in the room. Tell us what was going on in the room. Um, I mean, from from what I was told, they said you know Mills he had a uh, his first round was was really strong, but then they said after that you could just the the years away from the sport right, started not, to show. All right, it's not gonna be funny if we talk like we cool with Mills. No, no, no. I'm just saying. Like, I'm just saying that's what they said. They said you could just tell because I that was my fear about the not fear, but that's what I was worried about with the battle was. And and, and, and and with Joe too When Joe stepped into that Is that Battling now Is so much Different from what it was When Mills was active Like back then You could have The same bars For 50 battle rap niggas mm. Now Your bars have to be Kind of constructed To one specific person And It's more of a Spoken word thing now It's more Acting you have to do With it. your, your setups your, your performance Like it's it's like back when Mills was doing it, it sounded like freestyles that he could have put on a clue tape. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it it, it was different. Now it's like you have to be more into a, a performing type of thing. It's I'm, more I'm, of a I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm hold up, Rob. I'm gonna take the loss on on my battle versus Hollow. But I will say, I think me and Hollow would both agree that Shady fucked that whole battle up. <laughs> me, and, Shady actually, fucked it up? I know that Hollow would say that. Because Hollow dedicated damn near half his first round to addressing it. Mm -hmm. I actually like that part of Hollow's first round. I know. That was part of why people said that his shit was corny. That was part of my favorite thing that he did. Wait, why? Would, no, yeah. That wasn't because corny he at didn't all. That just, was dope. You guys are exploiting it, battle rap. <laughs> it, was, it was dope if you're artistic and creative and you appreciate things like that. If you just want to see the nigga tear the other nigga up, mm. it's probably not so dope. But, see... Yeah, I hold a little bit of grudge about that because that battle, me uh, me battling uh, Hollow, it was like on my bucket list. And it was on my bucket list because you want to do that type of thing in front of a battle rap crowd. I don't think that entire building was that, which I think is different from a smack battle or RBE battale or some of these well, no, leagues. It's, it's, just, it's just you have to, you are... You've been in a different mode. No, I agree with you. But, you know I mean? but like, let me you say that. To, You're right. Yeah, like you have to be you in have a different to be mode. In that. You have to it's more of a performing thing now. See, back when, you know, nigga the in the early two thousands, when niggas was running around battling, it was like you was just writing shit for whoever. It let wasn't me, geared yeah. to one whoever specific person. Into. Yo, it was like the, I just got bars. You threw the perfect alley for me to cop another plea really quickly. <laughs> That's the other thing. Like it's not till you're in those shoes that you're able to appreciate it. Once I had to actually battle, mm -hmm. and then you had you take three months and dedicate it to one thing and one person. Mm -hmm. If you don't care as much, yeah, <laughs> it's it's important. Yeah, boy, is it overlooked until you're in those shoes. Mm -hmm. Like you get in that creative mode where you're like, I ain't about to tear this nigga up, and in one week you ain't. Ah, <laughs> like, yeah, it's a different type of hunger, I guess. It's a cool nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah, you, you. I don't. You have to. Be, I don't even. I can't mindset. even muster up the energy required to do what I need to do, and that's why you know I had a lot of conversations about surf. I went to surf about when he was trying to juggle artist life and battle life. Two different heads, head spaces. Mm -hmm. Two different routes, two different everything. Sometimes when that battle money is so great, you're taking it. Right. So Surf went out there a lot of times when he battled conceded, he was dropping a project. Oh, you about to get your boots smoked. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think it's for play play. But Surf is actually one of the few that actually does translate from records to battling really well. Oh, no. He's, oh, yeah. he, he, he's top two in that. Yeah. What I'm saying, I'm just talking about the difference in creative spaces mm -hmm. versus those two making a song, making a project, trying to gear your career towards where you want it to be mainstream-wise, commercially, or everywhere you're trying to go, mm -hmm. versus locking in the battle one person mm -hmm. for however long. Some of these battle rappers, some of these battle rappers, remember when Clips went on a spree? Boy, was I amazed. How are y'all writing for these specific people in three weeks? 
memorizing right. it. Now you're yeah. on to the next one. Mm-hmm. Like, even oversaturation in battle rap is like shit, mm-hmm. detrimental. Right. Detrimental. Yeah, you Mil- may have to write for two people at the same time. Right. Yeah, so to Maul's point, I thought Mills did a really, really, really great job as someone who's been disconnected for as long as he has. Mm-hmm. Um, know what else is overlooked and goes unnoticed? But hold on quick. Do you think Kayshawn was the right opponent for him? Yes. In I think it back? was too because it's uh, it was probably easier for Mills to write for Kayshawn because there's a it's a lot of personal connection. There. Yeah, it's like it's a lot of you know personal relationships there. Rappers, your rap name, man. It sounds like nothing. <laughs> it sounds, Until you get it. It, it's sound, everything. it sounds like absolute. This was the, this was the this, this was the crossroads I was faced with when it was time to sign my major label recording contract. Damn, I don't have a rap name. Let me try to think of a quick rap name. Whoa, that can't be my rap name. These niggas will tear me up if it ever, <laughs> That's ever came. That's way too MC, many bars can MC come with that. Death Stare. Like, who are you? What are some of the names you had? I don't remember right now, Mo. <laughs> I had enough of you. Are you guys uh, copping MC Death Stairs? I really want to know. Rory, <laughs> I'm not MC Death Stairs. No, I know. I was just asking hypo- hypothetically. I wasn't putting out a project as MC Death Stairs. I'm just asking if someone Especially would cop that Ho- album. when Hove walked by and dapped up Skein. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's my new client. I was about Death to sign. Because the contract said, all right, what's your, print your name, nigga. And now what's your shit? I wasn't signed to MC Death Stairs. No. <laughs> yeah. But your rap name. So when K-Shine starts his first round and says, Uber Eats, hit up any nigga riding with Mills. I was like, oh shit, no, wait a second. All right, wait. Didn't really factor in. This nigga's name is Mills. Yeah. <laughs> Rhymes with a lot. Can means, a lot. means a lot. Yeah. Oh, man. You can repronounce it in different ways. Yeah. This is the other thing I'm mad at in battle rap, since we're talking about battle rap for a minute. Ghostwriting. Think it's happening? For no, sure. I don't think. It's one hundred percent happening. <laughs> I don't think. It's happening. Oh. In battle rap. And in battle rap is the one place where the rules should still apply. However, in battle rap, they no longer apply either. Shit, it should apply more, I think, in battle rap. Absolutely. These niggas with these little rap clicks and crews. Uh the crew is writing the bars. Well, I don't know Fan. if you. I don't know I mean, if you look at a collaborative effort. Yes, sure. it's, it's I don't not, know if you look at their friends behind them. It's not just your pen. They always, all their friends are ending their bars. Yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and that's not to say they. they yeah, that doesn't. Mean that's not that to they say wrote. they wrote. They wrote it uh, because I think, no, I, think I could it's be just practicing my bars thing in a studio or whatever space oh, no, no, you guys no, no. write I, in. I, I 100 know that that's what's happening. I don't think that he spit this to you this many times that you know it that well. No, no, no definitely. They, they're definitely having collaborative writing parties, and you know. You write me eight. You that's give that's me the male eight. version of a tattoo party? That's yeah. crazy. I was not aware <laughs> sure. of this. Yeah, uh, for sure. Wait. For sure. Wait. <laughs> what? Or <laughs> <laughs> Chicks be having tattoo parties. <laughs> <laughs> so then the fellas just get together. We the write fellas. rhymes. We, we write rhymes together. We have rap parties. <laughs> First of all, if a nigga ever tell me, yo, we having a rap party, come through, we're just going to write. Bring some bars. <laughs> yeah. Bring some bars. Chicks have nothing to do. And some wine. <laughs> and some wine. Chicks have tattoo parties. They have the sex toy parties. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the OA, OA. I hate men, y'all. Men I don't, swear. Don't, I, don't, I hate no, you, no, you know why they do that, though, none, right? none of y'all ever was with the girl that said, all right, Friday night, I'm out to the sex toy party. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. That's normal. They do that shit when uh, they just get, you know... They've been ran through at the club, so they have to find new cute ways to go out and hang out. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't go until a new club pop up. They yeah, got to kill Rory some time. Went to L.A. and became a crip, came back with it. <laughs> he got the, you ain't asking him if he had it on him this week. Why you ain't ask him? I don't even want to talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to say anything right now. Why you ain't asking him if he got it on him? I don't know who that is. <laughs> what, what's up with these niggas? That's OG Raw, niggas. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? I'm good on OG Raw. <laughs> I was going somewhere before then. What was we talking about? Battle Parties. rap. Mills. People Uber writing eats. rhymes for Hit each other. Hit up any nigga ride with Mills. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> That's I'm, what you I'm, said. I'm done with ghost writing in, in, okay. in, in battle rap. Okay. Did you guys see Bodied? Huh? 
Forget is, that it. A, when, that's, is that a new Vin Diesel movie? Worry, Bodied? Let me just Bodied? Grab. What is that? I just want to grab my phone. Star- no, is that a movie? Rock? No, let me see what else is going on. <laughs> <laughs> What's Body? <laughs> Nothing. Tell us what Body is. Is that the masseuse bro? parlor you go to? That's, it sounds like a movie. Hey, y'all ever had a girl cut your hair? No. My I've mom. Had a, women ask me a thousand times. My mom cut my hair when I was in the sixth grade. When I had long hair. Fuck you know, me up. What off. mom did? She rocked it? Fuck no. <laughs> she rocked it. <laughs> fuck my <laughs> Mom's fucked my whole shit up. Yeah. What she kind of cut it. she gave you? She tried to give me the fade. <laughs> it wasn't fade? No, it was faded. It, it never faded? Oh, no, it faded. faded no, it was too fa- quickly? Yeah, it was it a was skin fade. fade. She didn't blend it. Oh. She just what, cut like... Was this in the 80s? No, this was 90... Oh, shit. Yo, Maddox was out. <laughs> this was wow. Like this was like, this might have been like 93. Yo, nigga, moms was getting it in there. It ain't hard to tell. <laughs> this, this was like 93, 94. Wow, mom. Moms fucked my shit up. Your cut was nasty. It was disgusting. And I was going to a birthday party at Skate Key. So I was sure trying to be fresh. Well. Hell, I'm sure, I'm sure everyone was really nice to you about your haircut. It was, you know what though? That was my first lesson. It was my fault because she kept telling me to go to the barbershop, and I was like, "I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go." You know, when you're young, going to the barbershop seems so far out your way. You want to just be on the block with your friends. You ain't like, I'm not going to the barbershop. Right. Barber closed. I ain't got no cut. You got the home cut. Mom said, "You know what? I'm gonna teach you a lesson. <laughs> when I tell you to do something, you gonna do it." Rory, did you ever get a bowl cut? No, I that's what I had. Cut. It was a bowl. <laughs> oh shit! She used the bowl to, to line you up. Nah. Rory, the bowl I, with the bowl I, cut. I, I, I wish she nah. did use the bowl. <laughs> now, nah, Parker's talking about the white boy bowl cut. Yeah. No, I had the skin fade. Bowl cut. It my mom like, gave me that. Just skin a line fade. all the way the around. Line. <laughs> all of this was bald, and she yeah. ain't blend none of this. So my <laughs> shit was like. Old cut from here up, all the old cut was right here. Like and gen- general from here ball. down was yeah. bald. This was just the way it was. The way it was. <laughs> my shit was disgusting. Yeah, my mom, my mom. You just fuck up your sides real cut. quick. That's what I'm saying. It's the, it's the black guy's bowl cut. Though. Yeah, that, exactly. yeah, yeah. We had the bowl cut. That shit was terrible. My mom wouldn't let me get three cuts. Three, and the eyebrows? Three parts. Yeah, three no, parts or three cuts. No, my mom's wouldn't let me get. Th- I, I could get a part in my head. I wanted my three eyebrows. parts on the side of my head. I could. My mom's let me get that eyebrows. My mom's like, if you come in here with your eyebrows cut. Nigga, find somewhere else to sleep. <laughs> All right, wait, hold up. We got to talk about Floyd because that's your man. That's your man. Don't do that. That's my man. One thousand percent more. Floyd Mayweather was my man. Y'all so. Thousand percent more. Everybody, uh, yeah, anybody know that more. knows me knows that that's not true. What are y'all talking about right now? More. I feel like I've heard. You I'm the one who said more. he was running from everybody. Yeah, he ducked everybody. Oh, that's true. That's true. You're right. What are you talking about? Still. You're right. Still what? He's still be his man. He's still no, you ducking. Were a Pacquiao guy. Yeah, he's forgot. still he's still running. In his retirement, he's still running. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you think Floyd is broke? Broke? No. I don't think All he's right. broke. But can I ask you a second question? Mm-hmm. What does broke mean? If you, I mean, in my terms, I mean, my, my broken Floyd <laughs> More broke is this new age <laughs> shit where niggas just say what it nah, mean to me. I think, uh, nah, nah, I think Floyd, because even Floyd with my be money, if Floyd woke up with my money, he would kill us. <laughs> no, I think he's he's rich person <laughs> yeah. broke where like you just don't have the liquid cash at the moment. I don't think that that's true. Like, you know how rich people can file bankruptcy, but they not broke at all? I think he's like one of those I don't think he's broke, He's taking the low-hanging fruit. I just, no, here's what it is. Pacquiao's nephew is the low-hanging fruit. I think that, I think that, I think that what he's doing is he's chasing the billy. Maybe so. He's chasing the billy. Pacquiao's nephew is the way to the billy. He's shitty. He's going to make that. They're paying him more than he would take in a fight. Oh, yeah, for sure. Way more. Yeah, so... Way more. It's kind of like if you retire from rapping because media makes you more money. I'm. You know why I'm happy Floyd is, is doing this? Is that why I retired from rapping, Parks? No. I'm, Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> it helps. It helps. It helps. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Parks. It helps. You can make a Thank case. You, it see. helps. You see, can wait, before we start case. throwing out these narratives. Yeah, you can make a oh, case. Hey, wait, hold up. <laughs> hold your case for a second. Speaking of narratives, boy, the first person to run out the trend always gets killed. Really, Kith and Greg... Really? Wait, you're Greg? The the frock Greg? Really, Kith and Greg? <laughs> Damn. The collab? Damn. If they don't get the fuck out of here with this fucking collab. No. You I'm going to keep wearing Greg. You just stole. You just, man, they stole your man. I just keep wearing Greg. Why the fuck do I want <laughs> to wear Kith and man. Greg? Well, anyway. I've wore Kith and Greg before. I'm not wearing Kith and Greg. So you can be Greg Kith. Greg, yeah. I'm not wearing Greg or Kith. No, I'm wearing Greg without Kith. Okay. I don't need Kiff to wear Greg. All these clothes with the mergers. I'm telling y'all, I got a real special podcast coming to explain to y'all about mergers and brands and integration and all this other shit. But let's let the jokes fly, Rory, you were saying. 
Oh, I, oh no! I was just saying oh, that he's making, state, he can make yeah. more money doing the fucking alternative you can make a case fighting that, shit. That you left rap you for can. media because it was making you more money. No, you can't. I mean, you were about to come out with Rage Two, and then media happened. To be underpaid. <laughs> if I tell you about what I made at Complex, you will not say Joe Budden stopped. Did you rapping. think you were underpaid that like in the beginning? Obviously, at the renegotiation, that goes without saying. But no, before that contract started. I was well aware I was underpaid. That's but the thing it about did, it. Did but wait, pop time off out to not have to go back let, to what? Let me explain. But that's the thing about business. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get underpaid to get paid. Oh no, of course. And as and it, as the person being underpaid, you got to go into it Look, knowing picture. what your goals are. For sure. To to know, all right, I'm going to take the short. Right. I'm going to take the cut. So you know, nah, that was a short. And For I told Ian. I told Ian before day one that that was a fucking short. <laughs> yes. So nah, I'm not. Wait, but can you not relate though to the fact that he can make more money doing this MMA shit and this whatever the uh, Japanese? He's MMA also is. old. <laughs> All right, let me and not have to oh, actually fight. Yeah. Like he's gonna as an old man. What I'm saying is this: Floyd he's is fighting a dude smaller than Floyd, him, and he's not gonna box him. And I haven't checked. I haven't checked. No, it is boxing. Well, I know the the kid's not gonna be able to box with him. Floyd is one of the top earners in in sports, sports. history, probably right. I would definitely. think we haven't yeah. checked yeah. it, but I would think. Definitely, yeah. definitely 100%. The point that I've been making for well over a year, 50 has made it as, uh, made it as well, even today, is for that type of earner, <laughs> the behavior is a bit off. This fight rolls right in line <laughs> with that assumption. This fight rolls right in line with what I've been saying about Floyd his entire career. He never put himself in a position where he felt threatened or felt like he was going to lose. Or never. he's never put himself in a position to never need to work again. Well, See, I that's mean, how I interpret it. I, I mean, listen, it is, it however you want to, oh. I know that what my theory something is 100% is off, being proven in this, in, in, this, in this point. My Him theory this fight, is too. <laughs> it's like, so you're going to just fight, so you're not really retired. Yeah, because you're still you're still fighting. You're still getting in the ring. No one's ever really Fam, retired. He's in fighting sports. a twelve year old. Right. Or entertainment. Okay, but this is this goes back to what are I we was, calling this a fight? fight? This is what I was saying about Floyd his entire career. He ducks who he's supposed to fight, and fights who he wants to fight because he knows there's no real danger there. I know I can beat this dude. Right. When Pacquiao lost, like I told everybody, when he got knocked out, I said now Floyd will take that fight. Because once a boxer gets knocked out the way Pacquiao did, they're never the same again. Yeah. And you know how to knock him out now. 50 said, Champ is fighting an Uber driver before the IRS embarrasses him again. Pay-per-view my ass. We watching this on YouTube. <laughs> 20 years old. The kid is 20? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, that's a standard age for a fighter. He's yes, small. He's listen. He's shorter than Floyd Mayweather. No, I'm not co signing him fighting him. I'm just Yo, saying, 20 years old for a fighter is regular. We're talking about for huh? Floyd. I no. I let's contextualize. Yeah, there we <laughs> no, no. That's yeah. that's fine. Awesome. But don't laugh at he's. 20. I think this is I mean, just that's, easy that's money fighters. for Floyd. I'm I gonna laugh. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to. I'm not gonna laugh at the fact that he's fighting this one. Listen, I got beat up by the 17 year old. I'm not gonna laugh at that. He's been doing this shit. This is nothing new. It's just that he's doing it with somebody that's not an actual boxer. That's all. Are you entertained? No, no. I haven't been entertained by Floyd fighting years. I, I was kind of entertained with the Colin McGregor shit, but this, no, I'm cool. That wasn't very entertaining either. I'm, I'm cool on this one. Floyd should just stop. Well, you know what comes after this? Stopping. Hopefully, no. <laughs> he's gonna put. He's gonna. He's gonna he's, fight Ti. He's gonna be no, a wrestler. No, he's he's one he's one more of these away from putting the boxing gloves on a kangaroo. <laughs> I would fight the kangaroo. I don't understand y'all, man. <laughs> Even right here. He's what? Even, y'all think even I'm joking, today, shark. Even y'all right think I'm joking, second. bro. Now, kangaroos can fight. Like, my next, my next goal is to create a slate that doesn't include me as on-air talent, right? And that's early in my, in my career switch. For Floyd to have Mayweather promotions. <laughs> you would think that he would have... These- For Floyd to be on defense, like... He can't walk away from the game. He tried it with old boy, uh, Broner. But plus, he can just get the that just didn't pan out well. The ticket, ticket for doing the shit. Right? Y'all missing, y'all missing it all. Y'all, y'all talking about surface shit. No, but you're. I agree you gotta go deeper he's not into lose. the type of person that Floyd is. His yeah. ego. Yeah. He needs people to want to cheer for him. 
He needs to be in the spotlight. Yeah, no, that establishes a darker, deeper criminal. I'm just saying it is what it's the truth. You got to look at the type of person he is. He needs the attention on him. He can't for him to just focus on his boxing club and 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 breed a new fighter. That removes him too far out of the spotlight. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that takes him too far away from the, from the people cheering for him. He still needs the people to cheer for him. Probably right. <clears throat> so right. this is this is just his way of he doesn't want to do it with none of these active boys that's in his weight class because he yeah, didn't nah. get his head knocked off. Yeah. So he's it's not going to do that. It's a safe fight. It's, which is he's been doing his entire career. Safe fight. Entire career. Entire career. Okay. Certainly in the last ten years, I've definitely given his it. entire career. He's taking a safe fight. Maul hates Floyd. <laughs> no, I don't hate him. He thought it was his man. He's 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 technically the, the greatest a, boxer you ever you, you as far as. <laughs> As tell far me, as tell skill, me, tell me you don't hate your man. You know, lie, lie to my face. Yeah, I hate you all the time. <laughs> See, exactly. <laughs> there was something else important I wanted to talk about. Oh, this wasn't important. I'm just petty. And the last thing I will say is I know some of you are curious about the breakup, but the truth is it's nobody's business, and sometimes things just don't work out, and that's okay. She's a wonderful, strong person, and I genuinely wish her all the happiness in the world. Now, please go vote on Tuesday. P. Davidson. That's your, that's your man's. Yeah, <laughs> your man's. That's definitely your man's. For sure. How do we? Why do y'all have such a feud? <laughs> how do we even? How, yeah, how did that start? How did of the Pete the Davidson versus in. Joe Budden start? Oh, uh, Rosenberg. <laughs> of course it was Rosenberg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of, of fucking course. <laughs> Who else would have started that beef? Yeah, two niggas who shouldn't be involved in the culture. Yes, it was them two. <laughs> Yikes. I'm joking. That was, that, was, that was a harsh joke. <laughs> damn, damn, Joe. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way, because Pete, Pete is fine. But when, uh, what's well, his name? Which when, Pete? Well, Pete? Rosenberg. But when Pete Davidson goes on Rosenberg's show and, and uh, throws all the mud on my name, it was just confusing to me. But I understand what that's like when you're in some new pussy that you like a lot. <laughs> Like, you start feeling a little you bit shooting, low, you shooting shots yeah. Damn, you just start, start dissing different. niggas. <laughs> so I looked at the clip and was like, yo, who the fuck is Pete Davidson? And why is my name in his mouth? But I associated that to him being on Pete Rosenberg's show. Now, fast forward. Every other millisecond, this nigga was super excited to tell us about the vagina he was in. Mm. I understand that as a man. <laughs> I, hey, I mean, I don't go on press hey, runs about hey. it, but I get it. Been there. <laughs> Been there. No judgment. We all can qualify. Facts. But on one of these podcasts, I said, I don't think he's thinking about, like, if it ends. <laughs> well, I had said two weeks ago, I think he was the only one on earth that didn't know that this was going to be the end result very soon. Hold up for a minute, Rory. And the last thing I will say is, I know so. For we nigga, we didn't hear nothing else you said. What was the first thing you said? Well, you would have to be. Oh, nigga, <laughs> shut the fuck up! I'm gonna unpack this here now. Did you hear the first thing he said? I did. You fucking right, you didn't. The last thing I will say the last is, I know thing. some of you are curious about the breakup, but the that's the last thing he will say. Maul. And then that wasn't even the Just last thing turn. said. <laughs> yeah, he did add in the go vote shit. Yeah, like, nigga, that wasn't the last thing he said. Two things second, last. second to last thing. It's the second to last thing. Oh, and another thing. I just love how I can tell that Saturday Night Live Wrote said, that. fam, <laughs> we don't care about you alone. <laughs> like, right. You have to say, you have to address it. I know she's killing you in the public, mm -hmm. but it's us, my nigga. Get out there and, and tap you, And dance. you got to look like you're not hurt. You well, that's why I keep playing it. Because he said, I know, he said he gave out all the hurt indicators. Mm -hmm. She's a great girl. Yeah. Fan. Oh, that's when your heart I wish, like I wish her the throat. best. Oh, my. That's no, my favorite one is, I just want her to be happy. Word, no, you don't. You Yo, do Mace, not want her Mace to be was happy. bugging. I want you happy, even if it's not with me. No. I'm Fuck sure. out of here. I'm sure Puff made him say that. <laughs> I, I don't want you happy if it's not with me. Quick sidebar. Got to shout out my nigga Puff. Guys, y'all puff out. We ain't nobody ever covered him and Cassie's little split. And you know I wasn't gonna do it because of her fault. And because I've lost some chicks before, you gotta let nigga mourn. <laughs> <laughs> but when you mourn in the chick, she send you a little happy birthday. 
That's hard. Whatever. That's a fact. Whatever. That's it's hard. hard. That's hard. Come on, Maul. <laughs> That's hard. That's all I'm saying. Nigga, that's and Puff, nigga. I'm out of here. She was going to do that for that's Puff. Puff. Yeah. She loved him. Probably still do love him. They were together for a really long time. Yeah. I mean, happy birthday. Yeah. It's got to yeah. be a happy birthday to her. It don't have to be. <laughs> it don't. You're right. It don't have it don't, to be. But you don't know, have. Don't. I don't take it for granted. No, no, no. I'm not taking it for. Are you right? But I would assume that it would be there from her. No, I'm feeling away. If we break up, and two weeks later my birthday happens, you gonna wish me happy birthday. Puff's birthday party looked like it was a blast. It looked like a lot of fun. I was supposed to be there. I didn't go. I couldn't. I couldn't make it sit right with me to fly to a party. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was Puff's. That's chasing. The it fun. was Puff's party though. It's definitely chasing the you fun. could find some way to no, I couldn't to feel better. I couldn't honestly. No, you just got a lot of yourself. If I tell y'all how corny I was that that whole morning and the night before, <laughs> it was really corny. I'm not gonna tell y'all, so don't worry about it. No, but let's hear about it. No, no way. But you're shopping online to fly for a to suit? a party. First of all, everybody that was at that party is an LA nigga. Wait, did Jay steal your suit again? <laughs> is that why you didn't go? And I would have been the only nigga there in all black following the all black rules. Jay shit was blue. <laughs> Well, you never followed Joe, the rules You did show the me the invite. I didn't really see where you thought it was an all black party. Just because the invite was black, it didn't specify. Um, all right, the phone call <laughs> said uh-huh. this is an all black party. <laughs> so I was expecting it to be all black party, stupid me. Okay. But forget about that. Just flying to a party. Oh, no. Too much work to do. Rory flew to a party, his party. Rory flies to parties for a living. <laughs> and it's killing him inside. That's a fact. But <laughs> at least it's inside. paying all right. <laughs> Damn, niggas is exploiting his soul. Damn. <laughs> Jesus, Rory. Um, why didn't you bring a puff party? Because you want you didn't want to fly to a party. What does it say to y'all about the guy that flies to a party? Rory aside. <laughs> Do y'all judge the guy that flies to a party? Like I judge Parks party, and Rory for wanting to be in a motorcycle gang? Have I ever flown to a party? Yeah. Yeah, I well, Ma, Ma Ma drove to Montreal to try to get ass before. So <laughs> I don't think I'm I've a, done some crazy shit. About that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm wait a bug, twice uh, in the same <laughs> night. Yo, you're a wild nigga, Ma. <laughs> he had to go you back to do wild <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> How you drive to Montreal twice? twice. <laughs> like, oh shit, forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> On the way back. Oh, don't worry. I know where the gas station is. Ma we pack, just came back. More Pac Man sandwiches in the cooler. Told his cousin, "Yo, get the cooler." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we no, don't good. forget the cooler. We didn't pack We're gonna get hungry on the way. That's when you kill it. When you can pull over and go in the cooler, we didn't well, get a little ham and cheese. <laughs> didn't even look directions because you knew them. Look at Erickson. Yo, what Spanish people pack on the long drives? Hey, hey, hey. Pull over. hey, pull over, get a little patelitos. Spanish niggas on the road trying to get packing more than patelitos, nigga. <laughs> packing them bricks, nigga. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit just hit fucking. I know what the, I know what's inside them paint cans, nigga. You can't food. trick me, nigga. <laughs> Paint, huh? Y'all going to paint? Yeah, yeah, yeah all right. Paint, going to paint <laughs> house. <laughs> Y'all going to paint where? All right. Yeah, I know. Patelitos. Yeah. Patebricos, nigga. That's what y'all niggas got. <laughs> they say this is a big <laughs> All the way into Montreal. I just come from the pole. Chill before fucking Amari yeah. write some deep caption at me for a cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga caption be deep. I like all them shits. True. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm above flying to a party. I just don't think I was ever in the tax bracket to do it. I would do it. Depends on where the f- the flight is to. Oh, you broke, nigga. Yeah, that's, that's a fact. No, that's a fact. No, I, I was saying that. Big you, facts. you didn't need to reiterate it. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Big broke. <laughs> Big broke. <laughs> Big broke. Yeah. Big broke. Big overdraft. Big, <laughs> <laughs> Big overdraft. And the last thing I will say is I know some of you are curious about the breakup, but the truth is it's the nobody's is. business, and sometimes things just don't work out, and that's okay. P. Davidson. <laughs> Peter Petey What y'all think his middle name is? Looks like a Mark Todd I'm going with Todd Peter Todd <laughs> The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Pete Davidson I never understood You made say that, You made your relationship Pete, Our yeah. business Without even asking us first Every other <laughs> second I damn near you, know how she feels <laughs> Like Jesus You are a nasty dude <laughs> I know he was doing his comedic routine, like, you know, just trying to be funny as he expressed his love and joy and happiness about being in this relationship with this girl who you knew didn't give a fuck about him. That always hurts. 
Like when you know the girl don't really I don't care know, about she, him. She made a diss song b- about him before afterwards. he knows, huh? She made a diss song about him afterwards. No, so. she made a diss song because Saturday Night Live is a huge show. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, what about him? Oh, okay. Oh, y'all acting stupid. I'm gonna send y'all these bars via the insta com- insta comments. <laughs> Yo, you on my dick? Get off my dick, bitch ass nigga. That's what she said. That's how I read it. <laughs> that was the, that was the quote. And that, <laughs> no, and that's that, what she said. That's because she said. the rumor is, uh, the rumor is that Pete Davidson uh, had a whole bunch of shit planned, and then he pulled it, but they forgot to pull that promo. So then that promo went out. She snapped on him, and now we're getting this bum ass bullshit PSA where he's lying to our fucking faces. Uh, there was a skit or something. Hmm? He was gonna do a skit or something. Yeah, something like that. Oh, okay. That that that's the rumor. Pete okay. Davidson fade back to obscurity. <laughs> AKA get the fuck out of here. We we don't care about what you had to say first. We don't care about the last thing you had to say. We don't care about you thinking that we're all curious to know. We're not. We're not curious at all. We she dates somebody new. It's so, yeah, yeah. Even if she's not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yo, she rebounded from you to like another minute later, like with the besties. She told you not to worry about. <laughs> just that's just my brother. Yeah. Oh, Maul got into it. Maul had another good topic on that list. Did I? Yeah. Let's see. You, you were saying why why men don't why men act like they don't know. The, oh, why the do guys. men act like they don't know which man their girl would cheat on them with? Because she would never. <laughs> That's right. She would never do something like that. No, how do you think? Not. How do you think Rory would act if his girl he found out his girl cheated on? I mean, I don't think. <laughs> you don't think at all about nothing. <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't <laughs> We're not going to do any incriminating things on this podcast. We ain't going to talk about murder, ain't? <laughs> <laughs> nah, definitely no. not. <laughs> that nigga's no, definitely putting on some khakis not. and some fucking <laughs> some black, fuck bla- black, yeah. Wait, yeah. black khakis? Yeah, that's when you know he means business. On a steakout, the black khaki the corduroy st- steakout. <laughs> on a steakout corduroy with the church socks. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I put on some shit that's a little more agile that I can move around in. All right, but wait, no, you didn't give me enough context. I mean, like, if had, did he did he find out who the guy is? See, it's important what a nigga knows when he finds out his girl's cheating. Did he find out who the guy is? Do he just know there's someone? <laughs> no, he's talking about just like what hypothetically. Yeah, like you know, like you know, every man knows personality. Their, yeah, like you know who oh, no, the I was guy. Talking Rory. <laughs> oh, Rory! <laughs> like, because then you know, I'll like, tell you if, if he straight out, flat out, just found out. Oh man, Rory's killing himself. No, killing himself. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe is projecting all his past. Wait, wait, hold on. Nah. You think Rory wouldn't do it? Nah, man. Rory ain't nah, taking Rory himself out, my nigga. Nah. He's, oh, you niggas gotta, gotta watch. We gotta come record the podcast. He gotta take himself out. <laughs> we have a contract. Yeah, we see. He can't take himself out. <laughs> Did you read the death clause? <laughs> the death clause. Yo, he can't take himself out. My nigga Rory wouldn't take himself nah, out. Nah. I wouldn't do that. Nah. He might nah. go shoot something up, but nah. No, that's only if he knows who the dude is. Oh, that's true. Then. Oh, he doesn't know who nah, the dude I might is. If he don't who know I, who, who the dude is. is, he is taking it out on himself. Nah. 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 I don't think Not he's going to end it. Not Rory. No, I don't think he'll probably get a tattoo though. He has tattoos. He'll get a new one. No, I'm telling you, internal struggle. <laughs> no, I think I think Rory. I think he'll get a new haircut. <laughs> you think he's a bitch? Wait, what? Hold on, <laughs> no, like he, he'll let it grow. What, what can I, I do with my hair? Right I think now? I think you'll let more. I think you'll bowl let it cut. grow. In. There's not much here. <laughs> Bring back the bowl cut. Yeah, because you're still trying to hold on to the buzz, but it's, the front is. I'm getting close. Is, oh no! Yeah. I know, oh, I'm aware. What do white I actually people look? I look more bald on this than I am in real life, but it, I'm still. What do teetering. white people do about that? You just let it go. Yo. Yeah. You like, gotta go full baldy or yeah, grow it yeah, longer yeah. so you can like, you know. I mean. I'm not too scared of the bald shit, just I got a beard at least, that'll help. That that saves everything. Yeah. Bro. Rory sure. definitely could be the Olsen twins brother. <laughs> the, where where are the Olsen twins? Somewhere looking ninety three <laughs> at thirty three. What about ninety three billion dollars in the account? <laughs> you fuck the Olsen twins? I'm cool. You are a liar. Have you seen Olsen Twins? No, I just asked where they was no, at. I'm tell- I've seen them. No, you also asked. Have you, you seen ninety three million dollars? No, but I've I've seen Olsen Twins. 
I would not get aroused. Yeah, Spotify got deal got this nigga lying. Nah, I'm cool on that. <laughs> Fam, have you seen the no, I think Wall's accurate. Have you seen yeah. the, I will not get turned on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you have to get aroused to have sex. Unless That's y'all true. know some new shit I don't not know. Not really. Uh, <laughs> you never snuck and saw. I'm right, cool. Man. Erickson's got some uh, visual I'm, cues for you. I'm cool. Oh, yeah, I'm a bitch look like the X-Files. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yo, say, Vaughn, don't spit on me again. <laughs> All right. See? Y'all wouldn't fuck nothing off the X-Files? I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas not creative. Well, that's what... <laughs> that's creative. What, yeah, my creative juices don't go there, bro. Right, whatever, man. We got sleepers. <laughs> Please. <laughs> nah, I want to know, though. We didn't answer Maul's question, yeah. which yeah. I want to know, too. Rory trying to leave. Yeah, Rory. He ready to go home. He ready to end it. <laughs> <laughs> home, yes. Well, like, you're he ready to go to the real home. <laughs> <laughs> Up Answer Maul's question, bro. <laughs> nah, I want to know. Rory would pick the dumbest way to kill himself. Nah, I think he'd do the subway. Nah. Yeah, that'd be yes. horrible. That'd be yes. horrible. Yes. Yes. Nah, nah, nah. You know why I wouldn't? Yeah, wow. Mark, yes. He's jumping in front of a train. Yeah, nah, Rory, Rory is that in no, the past. No, 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 he's, yes. yeah, he's, he's a thoughtful guy. He wouldn't no, want to hold up people. I have, like, I have been me. waiting for a train when yeah. someone has killed themselves and I haven't given a fuck about their life. I've been like, really, dude? You couldn't do that shit somewhere else? That's true. Like, just go jump off the bridge. That's true. Rory wouldn't do that. I would take that dramatic exit. <laughs> Piss everybody off. Yeah, war. <laughs> Seven trains. Train delay. Fuck all y'all. Ah, <laughs> like, really, I hate my life. Ah! <laughs> really make my mark on the E-train. <laughs> <laughs> That's where your legacy ends, bro. The E-train don't even <laughs> drive fast enough to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my legs broke like, damn, this was stupid. This just hurts. All right. All right, God damn it. All right, sleep is for real? <laughs> yeah. I now, cried. So I don't want to answer that question. Uh, like you never been in a room. I know and, who and my girl would cheat with. I don't think it's Tiana to, Taylor. <laughs> SZA, <laughs> all girls. <laughs> yeah, word. Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a list. I mean, if you're trying to have my brain venture into the dudes, then my answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. What's wrong with all? No, I was just saying I, I go on the ledge. You know, I'm to the a single ledge guy. No, because some dudes it. really be acting like, nah, nigga, wifey holding it down. I'm like, nigga, your girl, <laughs> that six eight nigga that just walked in the room, nigga, he could definitely take your girl. No, not saying. Talk oh. about it, Joe. <laughs> okay. Say not, think, say not Sam too, nigga. You don't think. Uh, <laughs> The fuck is he talking about talking about it? So more can say, yeah, you think. No, nigga, join this club. Join the club. Get out in the streets. Park think- girl, you back there too. <laughs> Get your ass out. <laughs> you don't think you have any characteristics that maybe your girl's exes have? Like there's not a common denominator that another guy might have? Starlet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a All sick right. ass trait. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wave your hands at me. <laughs> like the live studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> Clap applause now. Yes. <laughs> Nigga, I'm out of here, Mark. He gave I'm us the, the wrap it up hands. Wrap this shit up, nigga. All right, wait. No, 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 no. What was you saying? What was you saying? What was you saying? Somebody no, tell me. Saying, like, similar traits. Well, yeah. Parks. Similar traits. I mean, not parks. Maul, you're, you're a single dude. Yes. Men in relationships are not. They should. Our brain. It should, but that's what I'm saying. It should. It should. That's all I'm saying. That sounds like you're saying that men in relationships should (laughs) worry about exhaust their brain power (laughs) thinking about the other men that the girl would sleep with if they weren't with you. No, I'm not. No, when you put it like. Oh, you mean while they are with you? Yeah, even worse. (laughs) No, no, no. What I'm saying is, you should always. Be aware of the relationships that your girlfriend has with certain men. Is all I'm saying. No, I just sound like a bad fight. Yeah. Like, (laughs) why? (laughs) It's just there's certain things you shouldn't think about in a relationship. Like, just flat out are just gonna bring negativity. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So you telling me you telling me that if your girl just keep randomly popping up with male cousins. Oh hell no! Wait, that's, that's a whole different yeah, point. Yeah. I just said the men in her, in her, the men that she has relationships with in her life. That's what I just said. No, you okay? I was going to your original point of saying thinking about the men that could possibly take your girl. No, I said the men that your woman, your girl. Ma, you don't with. think you're jaded? <laughs> I've admitted that. I've, I've worn that hat at least a that year. That hat now. says jaded. All right, in so, the the, so the next step, you don't want to fix it. 
No, I'm not saying that I'm just complete. I'm just saying like if a woman says that she has all these relationships with certain men, right? At some point, you just naturally you have to start to think to yourself like, who who are these dudes? No, like I can't be crazy when I think like that. That's not me being jaded. That's me saying, okay, who are all of these cousins that you just have all of a sudden, or who are all of these well, what year dudes that you're hanging out with Never from mind. work? Over the weekend, I did wonder if the spy shop out in Queens was still there. The spy shop, like where you get like little cameras and shit. <laughs> I'm sick. I know where there's one. It's right over here. I used to go to the spy shop. I went on right on Queens Bully. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to find out who it was. <laughs> <laughs> See, so y'all making me sound... Look, y'all, be, y'all niggas trying to make me you sound crazy. Where did, yeah. where did you just nigga going to spy shop? What was, in, shop? was in your shopping cart? Where did you put know. the bug? Because that is... <laughs> That's shame, what I want A shame how, they make, how it makes us sound, but that was the go-to in the spy shop, the yeah. bug. Yeah, where'd you put the bug? That's how in the you. The lamp. End, that's how you. That's end, where they always. Were check. you in a van with headphones? <laughs> that's how you end up following your, your girl's car and caught it to life. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sick. <laughs> Trying to chase the bug. No, more. I'm at me. sick. Okay. I say I'm sick though. Okay. I don't try to act normal, right? No, but I'm just except saying, on I state of culture. But I don't. I, <laughs> now, now that is a little like extreme. I'm just saying, like what state of culture, Joe? No, I'm oh, talking about the like, spy shop. Yeah, that's a little extreme. I don't think I would go with that because I think when you're at that point, you feel like she is. Well, there is so much that you don't know when you get in a relationship and you, you think your girl is sweet shop. and you think your no, girl you is cheating. You're going I'm to joking. the spy shop. So that's what. Okay, so that's what I just said. I've I said at that point shop. he's at. He thought his girl was cheating. When you're at that point, you feel like your girl yes. is cheating. That's all I said. Like, what are you talking about? Why was that so? I'm just saying, when you're at the point where you're going to a spa shop to buy equipment, <laughs> it's like you you know your girl is cheating. You just need to prove it now. Yeah, that's why I like men's men, men's intuition a lot better than women's intuition. Because men's intuition, you're going to get to it. It don't come often, but when it come. We go to the spa shop. We go right to the spot shop. We, yeah, we, we, get, we go and get facts. We're we not just going to come to you <laughs> we and just go, say, I feel this way. Paperwork. Yeah, my stomach is turning. Yeah. Something's just not sitting right. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Nah. Here's, here's, no. here's the picture. Listen, bitch, I got the track in your trunk. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you wasn't on 175th, like you said. <laughs> like, talk, talk yeah. to a nigga. Like, you what's wasn't up? on 175th because I was on 175th. Yeah, word, word. <laughs> waiting I, I right there. New, I bought a new iPhone just to do find my iPhone through that shit in your trunk. It's been sitting there for a week. That sounds sick. <laughs> but yeah, y'all are crazy. We're not gonna yeah. talk about murdering. Yeah, you right. <laughs> no. You know what? Let's get Can't. out of that. I'm sorry. I think I hit a sensitive point, fellas. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> when do y'all want to talk about? Uh, when do y'all want to talk about Thanksgiving? Not now. Next week, right? Uh, yeah, a couple weeks away. Yeah, yeah. Let's save that. I had the big ass dining room table in my house removed because my couch is coming. So now, if people come to my house, which is the big house, so that's where the family comes for Thanksgiving. Yeah. There's nowhere to sit. You got that big uh, what's shit? island. You got the big island. You can sit there. Yeah, parts. You can't have niggas sitting at an island on Why? Thanksgiving. It's parts. You can't have people sitting in the kitchen around the island. Well, he got rid of the, the table. Yeah, so what do you got to do? Got to get a fold, fold out table. Yeah, yeah you got to do something different. No, nah, the island's better than the fold I'm, out uh, table. I'm Fuck hosting no. for the first time this year. It's a big ass island. Wait, hold up. Rory's no, hosting Thanksgiving. A, let's, let's, I mean, we can save this for when it's closer, but just leave that on the docket. Friendsgiving or actually Thanksgiving? Nah, like for my family. Oh, dope. At your house? Yeah. Let's move shot. I could put a, a big ass fold table down that. Dope. I'm not the one cooking everything. Who's day. cooking? My mother. Dope. What do white people eat on Thanksgiving? Mad. The traditional, what you're supposed to mash potatoes. Oh, eat on dope. Thanksgiving. Dry food. turkey. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah. Dry turkey. Yeah, yeah, Rory. Rory. <laughs> mashed potatoes. Yeah, dry turkey. They ain't dry got the good sweet potatoes. potato pie over there. Box the potato dry salad. Vegetables. Box stuffing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all yeah. definitely do stovetop. No. Y'all no. do stovetop. They invented stovetop. That's true. That's why it's Come on, stove Rory. Stop from man. Claim y'all wrong shit. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> no, I, pie. I like apple the cider. White people do eat. They got no cobbler the over there. No, no Fuck, I'm going to Rory's no, for. No, <laughs> think I'm going to I wasn't taste, I wasn't taste test you. Rory's cobbler. <laughs> I wasn't invited either of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to come. I want to come to Thanksgiving just to to, to meet the whole. You know, white people make orange cobbler. They want to take that. They want to take a different fruit. Orange cobbler it up. Pumpkin Listen, cobbler. If you guys are done with the the easiest <laughs> comedy bit of all time of white people cooking, have a blast. But <laughs> you guys are very original. As a white person, it's also the most accurate. Back so. to orange cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is y'all talking about? Yeah, the joke survived. <laughs> no, you were saying, Rory. No, I was hosting. We could. I mean, we can. 
do a deep dive when it gets around Thanksgiving. But a deep dive. <laughs> I definitely want to see the plates. It's really brown and white. That's when you knew if you had. Sex. I don't know. Well, like, I don't I think mean, my family is is bad at cooking. So I mean, I'll, I'll take those white people jokes. That's good. All right, Parks. What are you hosting? <laughs> I want my girls, my girls, people. Okay, I'm doing Spanish. Why, why, why you respond? Why you reply to Rory? Uh, what he, he said? said something he to said you. His, his, his family could cook. I said okay. He said he don't think his family's bad at cooking, so the, all them white jokes don't apply, my nigga. And I backed out. I said okay. <laughs> I didn't want no you issues. I never had none of Rory's family's food. I'm not. Rory well, ain't been to in his too. mom's house, huh? <laughs> Rory ain't going to his mom's for a little late night snack. Yes, I, I nigga been right there in the square. He ain't going to. <laughs> <laughs> I eat at my mother's house often. No, I'm hating because my mom never cooked growing up. <laughs> your moms will kick your ass, man. She is. She, is, she, she gonna is. kick your ass. She cook now. The niggas got it. <laughs> <laughs> she get mad. You got a caterer. Man, my mom is phony. <laughs> Fuck out here, mom. All right, come on. I think we. I think we're done here. I don't think there's nothing else to talk about. I had something I wanted to talk about, but Savon pussy. <laughs> Savon, what's oh, up, man? Savon's in the doghouse. Right? Savon is in the doghouse. <laughs> Let's just approach it then. He, he doesn't have a microphone. It's only it's the only way. It's only, <laughs> Look at that nigga, man. It's only one way, to, the dog one way to deal with it, Savon. You got to gotta attack it head on, man. Talk about it. Apologize. Nah. nah you nah, hear nah. Parks? You got to apologize. Be at Parks with his girl in the next room? <laughs> yeah. Just say sorry. Yeah. Say sorry, bro. Just be yeah. a man. Savon, do what I do. Buy cable, get Wi Fi, and you live and you live in that doghouse. <laughs> and you live in that doghouse. You stand up in that doghouse, yes. nigga. Well, I pay cable in my doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> I got Netflix in my doghouse. I be chilling in that bitch. Do y'all um? Wait, you said it's Rory's fault? Yeah, a little bit. I don't oh, even know man. your girl, uh, <laughs> or knew you had one. It's not. It's, it's Rory's fault, but it's not. Rory's oh, I know. I already. I already please, know what he's talking please about. Please come closer. Well, I, no, 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 but and we ain't gonna ain't school them. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because it was it was it, it, it was already out there. So it was like ah, but I I, I caught it though. What I a, caught it. Oh, such, nah, such nah, nah. I caught it though. No, nah, I caught it. That's fucked up when your man's catch it. But <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all should have said something. You know, we do have the edit button on here. <laughs> I definitely caught it. But wait, 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 wait. Okay, all oh, that's great. What's the doghouse? Do we have a clear definition on what the doghouse is? The couch. And while y'all think about it, I just want to say couch. I really. Oh that's, my That's gosh. the doghouse. Wait, yes. y'all sleep Shit. on the couch? Where do you go? My fucking bed. What? I will never sleep on the couch ever in my life. I never have. I never will. Chauvinistic pig. No, <laughs> right? we, we'll just lay next to each other angry. I'm not sleeping on a couch. That's lit. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping next to each other angry? Yeah, you should got to feel this mad energy. Yeah. <laughs> she ain't really get it when I was trying to explain it. So nah, now let me, give you, let me give you my back, queen. That's my fucking bed. I am sleeping there. She's going to take all the blankets. Fine. I'll go get some other ones. I, 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 I wake up in too. cold sweats. I turn the fan on. You can't see. Yo, <laughs> trying to sleep mad is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you that's furious some, with your eyes closed? That's some crazy shit. <laughs> Eyebrows off. My nigga. <laughs> you, once you finally pass out, you get that one stretching. <laughs> you ain't mad no I more. I wish a girl yeah, would ever tell me to sleep I'm talking about the 10 minutes when I'm awake sleeping, though, when I'm kicking your ankles. <laughs> Awake sleep. Only Joe would be sleeping angry. Kicking the ankles. Only yeah. Joe, get, uh, Joe. Only Joe angry in his sleep. <laughs> no, if we're going to bed beefing. So no. now, so now, cause, <clears throat> cause Sin Petty, she gonna turn her back to me first. Mm -hmm. Now I'm mad, so I gotta kick you an angle. <laughs> like when I turn around, I gotta give you a little the horse. Leg. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> This nigga's crazy. Don't, no, don't touch Certified. Me. <laughs> stay, stay by yourself. <laughs> you on your own Wait, this one. You ain't never <laughs> gave, grab me you ain't never gave <laughs> Sam. Don't, don't tag me. You ain't never gave so Sam so a little crazy. white foot. <laughs> <laughs> a little white, white foot. foot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why you in bed? Why you mad? A little nah, white foot. Do, you ain't I never snatched the coverage, mad aggressive. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never used all your strength. My petty ass just makes mad noise if she try to sleep. Yeah, that's petty. Oh, Rory need a better plan. <laughs> that's petty. Make a that is petty, though. That, that so you trying to sleep and somebody making crazy noise in the crib? That's well, maybe I felt like cooking. Like bang the maybe pants? I felt like cooking with the door open. <laughs> this nigga turn on. This nigga turn on. Turn on only built for Cuban links and start making toaster strings <laughs> yeah. and shit. Yo, fam, turn that shit down, nigga. It's two in the morning. Sure, can it be so simple, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can. Turn that shit down, nigga, so everybody can go to sleep. All right, no, I'm finished with y'all. I'm really, I'm going home. 
I ain't even going home. <laughs> That's the funny part. Is there anything else that we missed that we need to discuss? <laughs> I feel like every podcast, I feel like Cardi. We say Cardi got her Reebok deal. Cardi got her Reebok deal, and that's a really big deal because at some point I do want to have further conversations about integrations and just brand consciousness and all that type of shit. There's a lot of mergers going on out there. Some of it like, is like really like Craig and Kith. Say, oh yeah, 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 Gith. <laughs> I'm copping the Gith and a bike. It's a fact. <laughs> Hopefully, it's leather. <laughs> If I see Rory on a motorcycle with some gith. Gith. <laughs> with Sam. <laughs> some gith and fire. Sam. Sidecar or would she go on the back? She'd go on the back. Okay. My dad still rides a motorcycle. Yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah like that's his... Like he still rides a motorcycle. <laughs> it's like his means of transportation. Okay. They're highly <laughs> efficient on gas. That's true. You can park them anywhere. And parking, too. Yeah. Uh, I think that Cardi for Reebok shit is, is big. Like I said, I, I do want to discuss that shit further at another time. Uh, Because I want to do some research. Uh, The research part comes from me reading an article that said iHeart, Apple is in the process of maybe purchasing iHeart or funding them or backing them or investing in them. And I do want to do some type of something to say what that means for us, what that means for Apple, what that means for you, what that means for everyone in this Types of types of creative space. It does mean something. I'll tell you at another time. Not now, because we just. <clears throat> hey, Rory, what's going on? It was on your computer, my nigga. Uh, my Twitter timeline. Wait, why somebody told me Cash Doll was trying to vote for Trump? <laughs> <laughs> no, she was trying to get us to not vote for Trump. Mom. Today. Well, it's important to not vote for Trump. Did you vote for Trump today, Mom? <laughs> no, Cash what, what, Cash Doll told him not to. Was it voting for no fucking. Today wasn't the day to vote Cash for Trump. Well, Cash Doll don't. Don't, said don't vote for Trump today. Oh, so she didn't know what was going on today either. <laughs> okay. That's good to know I wasn't alone. Too, too much cash. <laughs> too many dolls. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Breaking news. Amendment 4 in Florida has just passed. Yes, yes, yes. 1.4 million former felons who had been banned from voting for life will all now be granted back their voting rights. A huge and hard-fought victory, one of the most important of our lifetime. I'm reading that from Sean King's Twitter and Rory's phone. That's Savon's phone. Let me read that. Oh, Savon's phone. You got the nerve to still have a phone after your girl caught you slipping? (laughs) (laughs) Like, you still grabbing your phone? (laughs) He needs it for work. I got to teach this together. No, he don't. (laughs) He don't look shit up. (laughs) Actually, what does he do? I ain't seen him. <laughs> Let me stop playing. He's in the doghouse. Yeah. What is the fucking doghouse? There's no such thing as a doghouse if you is don't live not? with your girl. Oh, yeah. No, nah, then I'm just going to my house. <laughs> Which is the doghouse, for what it's worth. No, you no. can still be in a doghouse and not live with your girl, though. How? Yeah, then what is, really what is, what, what is like that? that? Tell me what that is. When you try to see a girl, you trying to, like... You Who tries to see their girl more? <laughs> All right, see... Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm asking you a question. No, I don't. I don't know nothing, bro. See what I'm, I mean? I'm a single man on the set. They, they try to see their girl. Okay. Yeah. Big facts. That's it. <laughs> uh that's right. Ted Cruz is getting his ass kicked. You fucking right. Democrats take early leads in key Senate, House, and governor races. No shit, I'm going home to keep my eyes glued to this television Mm -hmm. because this is really important. Boy, young people, y'all rule the world. I know it comes with it comes with this lack of understanding because you're young. We've all been young before, but boy, y'all rule the fucking world, man. Y'all, women, gays, let's get out there and do it, man. I'm really happy. I'm gonna go home and cry. Can't cry uh, prematurely, though. Yeah, I would, I would wait for the final results. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause, cause you white, you white change. people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. White yeah. people looking at white people, man. Worry. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching you. <laughs> watching you, me? I'm going I'm home. Going. Go home, nigga. That's where I'm going to go. Good. Parks, <laughs> you staying home. Staying here. Uh, I don't give a fuck about shit. <laughs> uh, well, I won't be home this weekend. Do Say Palooza will be in L.A. Tickets are still available at dosaypalooza.com. So come fuck with us. We have some cool surprises. Where's it at? L.A. Leakers uh, at Belasco downtown. Yeah, you know, you the same spot, right? You didn't just say y'all had some cool surprises. Yeah, we do. 
That's not right. the same spot it was at last year, was it? We've done Velasco before. Uh, I think Glove was the last one we were at. Okay. Saturday, we're going to delve further into that doghouse topic. <laughs> like, Savon started sweating, so I chilled. <laughs> but we're going to get back in there. Niggas love the doghouse. Like, it's only Savon's 17 year old. We should bring ass. back. Remember, no, when, remember when guys used to do the, the dog noise? The, ooh, ooh, ooh. We should bring that back. <laughs> Remember that? Uh, yeah, I do. I don't know if I'm ready to bring it back. DMX was popping. Let's bring it back. We should bring that back. What, like, man, we need something. I mean, what, we, what, what, we would this, what would the, the symbolism be? All I know the is shit, D- man, DMX or <laughs> Cindy Hall. Yeah, yeah, you gotta need, pump the fist. Yeah, too. <laughs> we need to bring all that back. We need something because we we down by a lot out here, man. It's a blowout. We gotta get back yeah, to the defense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nigga, like y'all y'all laughing. Yeah, we man. doing too much Damn, complaining nigga, to the refs. Yeah, it's time it's time it's, to rebuild. Yeah, we we, we need something and, that. Like brings us together where men see each other and we just do something and it's like I'm <laughs> like with a, you. A yo, secret handshake for all of yo, men yeah. across the whole country. I started this podcast by saying we don't even tell each other how we feel or what we're going through. <laughs> and now you think the dog, the dog <laughs> hand symbol wolf is going to bring yeah, us together? I might, you, man. I might bark at you and then tell you my feelings. Yeah, like that's the call. That is that's the you call. You can like, tell like, him the, the roof back, like where a nigga going through something. Because if I see you in the morning, I'm like, Yo, Joe. Ooh, 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 ooh. And you get me back, you like, ooh, ooh, nigga. Like, yo, it's like, oh, yo. this nigga, like, his I, roof, roof I, ain't I, the same. I, I, I bid all of you adieu. <laughs> no, I, I'm just I, saying, I, if your roof, roof ain't I, the same. I have food in Parks' his oven because right, he just he just won't go to Target. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you guys next, no, later this week because we don't get vacation time for Spotify. And don't worry, we will talk to you on Christmas. Fuck Apple. <laughs> just because. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>